All right. Well, we are back. Huh? We're back at the nightclub experience, episode number one eleven. Everybody, huh? Ooh. Do you have too much coffee today? Huh? Oh. A lot of coffee. I've had a lot of coffee. I've had a lot of coffee. I'm gonna have some more. <laughs> you sound like the. Fucking... Well, let's get the show started, man. We got a super chat raffle. You sound like the side effects on a fucking pharmaceutical commercial. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> no, man. How's how's everybody doing? We got a great show, man. Episode one hundred and eleven. One one one. It's a good number. It's a yeah. good number. Mm. Flows. One eleven. Yep. One oh eleven. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Listen, man. How's everybody doing, man? Eldridge Eldridge is back, man. Hold oh, yes. on, dude. I almost forgot he was gone. Let's give him a round of applause. Round of applause. I don't know how I feel about that. I remembered you were gone, and I'm happy you're back. Thank yeah. you, Stesis, my I friend. You. I got you. Really <laughs> yeah. So this is my best friend out of, out of all of yeah. you guys. This changes the whole direction of the show because I forgot you had poison oak on your eyeball. What happened, dude? Yes, please explain. <laughs> so, and it's funny too because I read there's somebody, maybe a couple people, like, damn, Eldie got the worst luck. <laughs> And a hey, true not excuses reasons for not being here. They're not excuses because I want to be here, but if I can't be here, there's a reason for it. That's an excuse. Well, it's definitely an excuse. <laughs> okay. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> so reason, but it's an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so went up to Big Sur for my anniversary. Mm -hmm. Went. My knees fucked up. It's not hiking, but the trail, like very mellow trail. You know, they have like waterfalls and stream rolls, rolls down. Mm -hmm. A lot of poison ivy up there. A lot of poison oak by the water. That's where it goes. And I don't know what happened, but I want to say there was a time where I dropped my glasses and I do a big bush of poison oak. <laughs> but, but it wasn't even that. It was I, I, that's what I'm thinking about. But like, so what happened is my knee brace <laughs> picks up. <his> <laughs> <laughs> <to back on. laughs> Imagine. Go ahead. Um, fucking. I think I got poison oak on my hand uh -huh. or something. The oil's on my hand and itched inside my knee brace. And so during the trip, like whatever, it's obviously started getting itchy. And then like one day I took the knee brace off and it was just fucking red underneath mm. there. And it was fucking gnarly. Mm. And so it's still on the trip, whatever. Wake up the last day when I called you. We were driving home Sunday. And that night I must have fucking itched my shit itched my eyes and I know poison oak or ivy is allergic reaction but like it wasn't that the poison oak was like on my eyes like blisters yeah but my fucking eye was like red and puffy and I could barely like it was just so oh. itchy and just shit do you have photos I don't have photos did I take photos I probably took photos of my eye yeah um, I have, <clears throat> I'll show you guys after show, got some scars on my fucking... Uh, oh, poison oak scars. It's, well, oh. they're just like, they're still there. Oh, you know gotcha. what I mean? You could see all the shit, but okay. uh, I wouldn't yeah. wish that shit on nobody, man. Oh, man. That shit sucks. Well, we're glad you're okay, man. We're glad your eyeball's good and everything. Yeah. It got into both of them. At, oh. at, at, one, oh. at one point, my eyes were like, dude, they were so scratched. It was just, it was horrible. What do you do? Calamine lotion? Dude, it's crazy. So I had the... Or um, did you take our advice yeah. and do an heirloom bath? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did it. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I just eat them things and I'll okay. bathe in them. Sometimes uh, we have some good ideas over here. I don't you know. do sometimes. Yeah. Not all the time. Okay. Um, I put, uh, I had this like cream that the dog, I've gotten poison oak the last time I went to Big Sur. Let me tell you this. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I go to Big Sur my entire life. The last two times was the first times it was 90 degrees there. And so I'm wearing shorts hiking. I don't normally do that. Mm. Never going to do that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yeah, it was fucked. And, uh, oh, so I, I still had some cream from the last time. Okay. And I fucking was, like, kind of rubbing it on my eyes and whatever. It was cool. Felt good. But then I talked to the doctor, and he's like, yeah, don't do that on your face. <laughs> oh. That's not the right shit. Dude. That's too powerful for your face. Okay. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I already did that. Wow. But it turned out okay. But, okay, yeah, good. he ended up giving me even a higher dose of some shit which i put on my shit and it turned my skin white dude, this is a whole crazy what? shit but yeah it all ended up it worked out it worked Sh out shit went away in a week so i'm chilling but fuck well okay well we're happy man we're happy you're back <laughs> but fuck but, but, but dude fuck. listen whoever is out there watching listen how many times he cussed <laughs> during that no, no. it was amazing i only heard the last one <laughs> I heard about 12 or 13 yeah. at least. And we've only been going for two minutes. I'll, 
I'll give you a little leeway. I started it off. I said fucking first. So there you go. So I'll give you Every time we do this, I hear you guys more than me. <laughs> just, just because Jesus jumps off the bridge doesn't mean you have to jump off. Dude, but I, we're best friends. We're best oh, friends. Oh, that's right. Okay, my, <laughs> bad, my, bad, my, bad, my bad. bad. I did have this idea for a sweatshirt, for a Nine Club sweatshirt, that just said like fuck and cursive. Oh, okay. Like all ill, like yeah. tonal, so you can't Ooh. see it. And then when we when we put it out that episode every time I say fuck we give one away oh wow okay you can give away all bushy little sweaters I'm gonna try not <laughs> to say fuck so I'm hoping maybe we would only give away 10 why bro. is the 9 club not on air anymore they're, they're, they're broke they're broke that's why mm. Mm. Wow. This is why he doesn't right. do the marketing. <laughs> well, listen, man, we're glad you're back. Jerron did an exceptional job. Dude, you all, guys are as always. hella funny. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Jerron's a man. And we had Appleyard here. He was uh, he going was, over his own video part, which was, was hilarious. He was hella funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Dude, I, I, don't know. I literally <laughs> called my girl over. I'm like, yo, listen to this dude talk. He's amazing. <laughs> this dude is funny. Like... like the the kickflip back Smith down the ring. What is it? I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. It's, 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 it's back Smith on the other rail. But then like a back. And, yeah. And, when he, <laughs> and he hit the little kink. He's all, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I felt bad. I was like, I kept thinking of you. He was just kept going. The filmer fucking told me. The filmer, the filmer. I'm like, dude, he's got a name. But that's where we're pro. Well, I mean, it's like it's almost like programmed. He probably doesn't remember who shot it. Yeah, yeah that's true too. Someone commented like, "Hey, did Kelly? Did he call you Kevin Hart in in it?" And I was like, "Probably." <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, Kevin, <laughs> he's, got, he's got a good trade. Hey, it's funny actually. We'll have some guests on here sometimes that don't really know who I am, and they'll say Kevin Hart. Oh no, Bam called me Kevin Hart. You got <laughs> Kevin Hart over here. I was like. Bam knows you. <laughs> <laughs> Bam also knows Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. Uh, yeah, it was a great episode, man. We had a lot of fun, dude. We did miss you, though, LD, but uh, we did have yes, fun you at your expense. That yes, was, you did, as always. You. Yeah, it was a good time, man. It's a good time. <laughs> Idiot. Yes, I laughed at that when you <laughs> And I'm watching. <laughs> he doesn't watch the show. Da, da, da. I don't know. Sometimes when you're not on, you don't, I don't see you. I see you pop up for a minute in the chat. Hey. Okay. No, you could. Come on, it's now. okay. It's okay, dude. Everything's gonna be great, dude. Jerron's gonna get me some number thirty-three gear. It's gonna be great. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna be in. good. I, I knew he was gonna shout that out at the end. I was like, oh, I gotta hear this. Everything's gonna be great. <laughs> Stoked. <laughs> I, I need to get all this stuff. I, do you, I, you don't even know how much stuff I have down here, Ryan. Between Globe in our next raffle. Bro, no, no. it's insane. So let me get this. Let me get, let me, get the forklift. Let me, please. <laughs> Do you not operate one? I can figure it out. Okay. Uh, I, know, I know Raj can figure it out for yeah. sure. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm going to remind people that later in the show, we're going to pick a winner for the Globe Shoes Raffle, man. It's, it consists of two pairs of Mahalo Plus Apple Yard shoes, a white, well, they're kind of gray, gray and black pair. Taupe? T is it taupe? Off-white? I love taupe. It's an it's, it's an off it's like an eggshell or gray. It's I don't color, know. It's, kind it's of, almost like the color of the door. But well, sure. yeah. So it's like a taupe white. I, would, yeah. I think it does color say. Color. Doesn't it say taupe on the box? Let's find out. Does oh. it? It says taupe. Taupe. Taupe rat. Taupe. Raj is. Oh man, we got to follow Raj's lead a lot more, man. I know. US.globebrand.com. Two pairs of Mahalo Plus Apple Yard shoes. A pair of socks. Hat. Hoodie. Pair of pants. Shirts. And uh, and maybe some other things too. They might throw some out, like a flannel. There's all dude, their clothing is on point. Right yeah, it looks now. Dude, look at this, dude. Hats, yeah. socks. Do you know what mahalo means? Yeah, it means good day, mate. Huh? <laughs> we got pants. We got shit. This is like I might have to seal this shirt. Like I'm not really a, you know. You know, really earth all tones, of earth all tones, but uh, short sleeve. Yeah, <laughs> short sleeve, dude. I don't know. Look at this that's flannel. A, that's a Chris that's, Robert shirt. Yep. Look at this hoodie. Look at this. It's got zippers it. on it, Raj. Do you see that? It's a hoodie with zippers. Damn, save your belongings. Look at that. Oh, it's a... Oh, Individual it's a, pockets. No, no, yeah. Oh. I mean, a lot of stuff, man. And let me no, let me show the shoes because I really do. Oh, and there's so much stuff down here. I'm so lost right now. Uh, I dabble DVDs. Three I dabble DVDs as, as well. You got you got season uh, four, five, and six mm. right here. And to let the winners, the future winners know, we will be sending out the 
DVDs, yes. Globe will send out the product. So if you get two packages, that's okay. We're going to be sending out the Globe, uh, the iDouble DVDs, and Globe is going to send these out from the Globe warehouse. Feels like you're sponsored. All right, let me see. Uh, these are the black ones, but I, I didn't really like the, uh, the these topes. Tope wrap? Tope, dude. I just oh, like how good. the foxing tape goes or over the Ollie pad. See that? Yeah, that is good. I like you guys. That. Uh, I liked it too. Yeah, it's a good shoe. I like that. The Mahalo Plus. Mark Appleyard, Looks man, dope. doing it. Got the burgundy. Yeah, it's really good. So that is later in the show. We will pick a winner for all three winners for all this stuff. Man, they're going to get hooked up, Raj. Whoever didn't get in that raffle blew it. Mm. You know what I mean? Tell them. They blew it, man. But they have a chance to redeem themselves. Because this raffle right now going on this, uh, the super chats, all you have to do is donate. People always say, hey, do you, I need to be a member? What do I do? 7 p.m. Wednesday nights. Get in the live chat while the episode premieres. And huh? if you donate, then you're in. If you donate, you're automatically in. Kelly spends most of his week here cutting up all the 48 hours, all the, the, the winners, all the for our bucket. 99 cents, right? That's the that's the lowest. Yeah. You can donate? Yeah. 69? No, no, no. 69 cents? Yeah, I think yeah. 69. Perfect. I love 69. Yeah. I love 69. <laughs> so this, I don't know if anybody's heard, but guess what, man? What? Satori's back? Satori is back, man. The Satori mm -hmm. movement. We have wheels. For days. Jeez, what a package. We have socks. Two pairs of socks. We have a, a Satori wallet. We got a massive sticker pack. Look at that. Yeah. That thing must weigh uh, 10 ounces, bro. I like that they put it like, in a shipping <laughs> label cool, holder. Right? And then uh, three different Satori shirts. So look at this. We got, let, let's go over this again. We have a lot of stuff. We got three <laughs> sets of Satori wheels. Look at that. A Satori wallet, Satori sticker pack, and two pairs of Satori socks, three Satori movement shirts. So I stoked they're back. I was a, always a big fan of Satori. Me too. It's so funny. We just watched, I mean, I couldn't tell you what episode it was, but we watched somebody's video part whose titling was the same font as Satori. And I couldn't remember what it was. And a bunch of people tagged me and told me that it was Satori. And now it's they're, they're same back. thing. Yeah. yeah. It was um, so right away. It was Satori. Satori. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you're right. But we're, uh, we're stoked, man. Satori Sick. movement it's is a lot back. Of stuff. Eli a lot Reed of stuff. skates for him now. Carl Watson. Carl Watson. Carl Watson. Mean. Yeah. Should Carl's we throw in some more things? I don't think, I don't Gosh, know if Carl down. owns it. He's been not. down from day one, yeah. though, right? Yeah, dude, Craig owns it. Okay. Mm. It's right up Carl's alley, man. Yeah. So that's part one to what? this raffle. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, Lord. there's more. Oh, dude. That's part one. Y'all better get these donations cracking. Uh, <laughs> well, dude, they have time because, listen, man. And, listen, we have three... DGK Chaz Ortiz boards. Uh oh, wow. and, and this is funny, man, because uh, what was the last episode, Raj, where we did the... Uh, it's like three back or two back? Three, yeah, we did Uprise. the uh, Uprise yeah. Skate Shop uh, decks. So we had a uh, one of their... Uh, customers. Customers. Thank you, Raj. He wrote in, he wrote a note. He said, I had my boys over at Uprise send out my package. Please raffle these three new DGK Chaz Ortiz decks. They're all different sizes, 7.75, 8.1, 8.25. I wanted to support both you guys and uh, Uprise. They're the best shop out in Chicago, no doubt. Thanks for the endless laughs. You got me skating again, and I can't thank you enough. Seriously, Nino, a.k.a. Tony Seya. Seya. Do you have an Instagram? No. He does ask a question, though. How do you feel about uh, taking the plastic wrap off the boards to hang? And we don't take the plastic off. I usually try and leave them on. Hmm. We have so many boards back there that if they're all banging together, the oh, graphics yeah. are going to get all messed up. Yeah. So we try to leave them on, right? Yeah, take a little needle, poke it through the holes, yeah. and then there you go. it through. So that's okay. it. Look at this. Three DGK. I love this one. This one? Yeah, they yeah. fight the other mask on. It's pretty the mask. Yeah, that's pretty Wow. Cool. And he's like got like the Jordans. Bear. Got Jordans yeah, on Jordan right there. Threes. Uh, so three. That's still Chicago too. Yep. Uh -huh. Three Chaz Ortiz boards. That's not all. Oh boy. There's more. But wait, there's more. 
Part three? I'm telling you, man. Yeah, everybody. So, hey, thank you, Nino. Thank you, Uprise Skate Shop. Amazing. That, uh, that's so cool, dude. People, that's yeah. really cool. That's yeah. the first time that's happened, I mm-hmm. feel like, right? Well, dude, these boards go for like 60 bucks. <clears throat> and a guy bought three of them and sent them over. Rad. This is interesting. This is sick. This is interesting. Getting me hyped. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Kelly. What's going on? I can't we, got, see we got some mail this week. Nine Club Experience crew. Hey, dudes, just wanted to say thanks for the show. I've painted so many paintings with you guys on in the background since the first show. So I wanted to hook you guys up with an oil painting. Tom Penny. Would love to see him on the show at some point. Him or Rocco would be the dream. Also, as a major nerd art... uh, Also, as a major nerd art... Art nerd. I'm... (laughs) <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Like Todd Man, as, as it, yeah, he'd love to have Todd Bratrude on the show. Legend. But thanks for everything you, you guys do. Enjoy the painting. Also, I included three art prints with some zines I made if you guys want to raffle them off. Cheers, Jason Arnold. Yes, Jason Arnold, we do want to raffle them off, and we're including them in the raffle. This is the original that he painted and sent it, sent to us right here. Wow. Sick. What? See that? Damn. Tom That's Penny, the goat, the goat, the goat. It's so sick. <laughs> it's dope. Yeah, it's dope. It really looks like him too. Absolutely, it is him. The yeah. framing and shit. Is yeah, really nice good. wood frame. Yeah, man. Dude, so I love it when people send it's us super rad well shit. Put together. It's yeah. super. Yeah, this frame is amazing, man. We got to like sit floating in the frame. Yeah, we have to uh, set that up, Raj, somewhere. So included in this raffle with the Satori movement package, the three DGK boards, which you're only getting one, one DGK board, three, three winners, three prints of the Tom Penny Sick. oil painting. Amazing. So you'll get a print as well. You will get a Tom Penny print, which he, he uh, named, quote, Tom. That's the name of it. Appropriate. And uh, United Artists uh, illustration, uh, zine. little zine. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> a lot of stuff. That's a lot, dude. Yeah. It's a. It's a. That's a cool painting. I think you need to hit a button for that one, dude. You're okay. getting like nice big package. Three sets of wheels, t-shirts, a board. Three so- sets of wheels, a wallet, two pairs of socks, three shirts, sticker pack. That's all Satori movement. We got D, a DGK board. Chaz Ortiz. Chaz Ortiz, j- brand new. Chaz Ortiz board from Uprise Skate Shop. Thank you, Nino. And the oil painting print of Tom, quote, quote, unquote, Tom. Tom Penny. And who painted those? Jason Arnold painted them. So that's it. That's the raffle this week going on right now. All you have to do is just donate in the in the, in the the super chat and you will automatically be entered to win all this stuff. And we will pick Goodness winners gracious. next week. I'm sweating, man. <laughs> It's, Woo, it's a lot of product, dude. It's a lot, man. It's hot in here, dude. Yeah. It's hot, awesome. hot products. Hot products. So thank you, Satori. Hot Satori products. Movement. Thank you, uh, Uprise Skate Shop, Nino, Tony Sia, and thank you, Jason Arnold. And thank you, Brian Boyd, for sending all the Satori stuff. There you go. The Satori stuff is made out of uh, mostly hemp, too, which is mm-hmm. oh, sick. really sick. And you have to use like, a lot of organic co- mm-hmm. cottons and stuff like that. Yeah. And thank you to iDabble also for throwing in... Uh, and globe, yep. globe shoes, man, people, man, we're man. all support here. We're so blessed, bro. Yep. Well, this was interesting, Raj. <laughs> Abby Taylor, incredible. Now, listen, let's give a little backstory to uh, good old Abby Taylor. Abby Taylor has been a street skater for God knows how many years, Raj. For a while, for a while, <laughs> a but while. His, his last part came out probably about five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. the dude is incredible on street oh yeah. yeah this is some old clips you pulled from what videos raj the uh that was from uh his transmission part from trans world transmission uh whoops we got um let's see look at this oh one. this was nuts mm-hmm. dude that i think is from uh transmission as well maybe okay wow. yeah man i'm just playing a few clips to get us you know yeah, this one was dude, right. that that was so sick Crooked Grind on, in remember, San, San Francisco. Remember when uh, Frank Gerber front boarded that thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was insane, dude. Nice little line here. Yeah, he was straight up like ledge fucking ledge tech, too. Yeah, he can go big, too. Yeah. Oh, those projects. He, uh, so he was our special guest on the chocolate um, King of the Road. King of the Road. Oh, sick. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's funny because th- this came up and I was like, yeah, dude, I just remember being like, he, I remember this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Never knew he skated vert. Well, he just started skating right, vert. Right, right. Yeah, that's where we're leading in. Right. This. This is where we're... Uh... So five years ago, he was killing street. Look at this. Crooked grind. It, that, that, that was stupid. Yeah, that line was... I don't see was anybody insane. skating that thing. No. Oh, let me see here. Look at that. That's fucked. That thing's really steep, actually, when you land into it. And for some reason, it still doesn't even look that steep in the video. I but it, swear to God, we joke about it on the show all the time, but I seriously went to that spot and went and got a cup of coffee. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I went and got coffee when we went there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good spot, though. But it is. cool. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, dude, Vicky back. Clipper? Clipper? Clipper, gosh. I mean, I'm just I'm just bringing us up to speed, you know. I'll be Taylor Street. This spot, dude. Look at that. Why? To wow. That was some day one setup shit, mm -hmm. and then Nar Factor. Yeah. And now Raj, he's a vert skater. He uh, just in, came in five years. He like became the best '80s vert skater ever. Yeah. And I liked how they filmed this video. Yeah. Actually, it's really cool because when I first saw it, I thought it was just an old video. Right. Um, but he's doing insane. Wow. It's fun to watch. Yeah. It's the same thing when we talk about when you see like a young kid come up and you see his entire process through Instagram, mm -hmm. like watched this whole entire process. Like yeah. he's like, yeah. he like learned like a half cab or like learn whatever. And mm -hmm. now he's fucking. No, yeah. but it's like, you know, you always talk about like how like Tiago always looked at the 90s skaters or whatever. He's clearly looking at like 80s uh, Texas oh, vert yeah. skaters and mm -hmm. pulling inspiration. Is he from, where's he from, Raj? Is he from Texas? I believe Texas, yeah. Okay. It's very, very, this is obvious almost, but it's very rare that you see someone change that drastic. No, oh, yeah. Right? Like in the... Like vert to street. Yeah. We see that happen. Or just dabble like in, a, you know, you look at... People just dabble. Look at street, yeah. street like, cab. Yeah. Right. Ashad. Or they become ATVs. Yeah. 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 Ashad, Zion. Those well, the dudes. new generation, they have access to both. Yes. Right. right. But it's rare, you know. But he's part, street, of, he's part of that same generation. He is. He's but pretty a young. street skater yeah. to go and, and kill it on vert like that? Pretty crazy. At board and everything, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's Set like, up. It's a or, full transition over to, I'm a vert skater now. Yeah. Look at right. Look at the board I'm riding. Look at my pads. Yeah. Look at the camera. <laughs> Very sick. <Yeah. laughs> Very sick. Yeah, he killed it. Well, the red thing is, uh, that's like a remake of an old Texas ramp called the Clown Ramp, whatever. Mm. And uh, that's why this part was called Clowny. Is it in the same spot or we don't know? I think the original spot was over by the river and I think that's at work by Four Down. I was just oh, about okay. to say that bridge looks like it's near Four Down. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's incredible. It really is, man. I mean, it just gives me hope, man, one of these days. <laughs> you really yeah, Have you I dropped in love... before? Yeah, I've dropped in. Yeah? Yeah. Who, has any, everyone here dropped in on Vert? Yep. Dude, I look, I stood at the top of the <laughs> animal chain ramp at uh, Woodward West. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> really good. scary. Jesus went to oh. get a cup of coffee. I, went to, <laughs> I think I went to get a Gatorade. I was like, nah, I'm good. It's... Did you even pump on it? Hell no. I mean, really? I would if I started at the bottom, but it was we were doing a contest and all that stuff. But no. Justin? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, remember Skate Street in Ventura? Yeah. Yeah, I dropped in on that oh, one. Oh, what? Yeah, but I've it. dropped into a 13-foot bowl. I mean, I, I know it's not the same thing, but I mean... That's uh, pretty equivalent. Still same. It was like, vert, right? You would think. The one at... Uh, I don't know if you guys ever... Penn Valley Skate Park in Kansas City. It's like the big, big bowl. That's where they do all the demos and stuff when you guys came through. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, remember that, but I remember the park. I don't remember the bowl. bowl yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the street park is like here, and then the bowl is like off in, in the little corner. Isn't yeah. that park kind of narrow a little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that yeah. when you look down at that vert stuff, it, it yeah, is it's, it's makes you because it's over. Yeah. It feels over vert. I don't it know. It does. If it's, yeah, yeah, it's weird. It like disappears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, doing hand plants and shit. what? What did you drop in on, Roberts? Vert. Yeah. Where? <laughs> Where? Where? The fuck we Where? Yeah. Where? Where? What? what? They, they, a a there couple there of them. There was a huh? with a vert ramp in Malibu. There was a vert ramp in Malibu. There was. I remember yeah. that shit. Yeah, dropped yeah. in on that. That wasn't very big, though. Uh, but listen, man, Aubrey, Ta Aubrey, uh, Aubrey Taylor, dude, just killing the vert scene now. He killed it. It's fucking impressive to see. Just, just knowing the fact that he, like, five years ago, he was like just crushing the street. Mm -hmm. Well, when it's just that easy to you, sometimes yeah, right? you got to find a new challenge. Some people are very. I mean, he talented. did do. Yeah, he did a lot of crazy stuff in his video parts. Probably like. Yeah. And he's probably because he was out in California a bunch. It's probably just felt nice to go home to Texas. Yeah. And just do that's what he, true you know. too. And guarantee most of his buddies are like, come skate this vert ramp. He's like, 
All right. Ryan, why not? It's probably it's hot as hell out there right now, dude. Yeah. Oh, for days. Dude. They're probably skating around like dusk. It does look fun though to like float like oh, that. Looks so fun. It looks pretty fun. I swear he did. He did what we all like. I feel like all of our uh, street skaters want to do. Yeah. Like, uh, oh man, I wish we could skate vert. That looks so fun, and he did it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Aubrey Taylor, clowny. Look at that. Damn. Yeah, he's gnarly. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Keep it up. Yeah. It's fun to fun to watch. Like I said, I thought it was old. Like Roz was showing me the video. I'm like, what, this is. Right. This old video where it like and I'm like dude this is so sick it's five years ago he was killing streets it's insane dude really it's cool all right Raj what do we go what do we do now man do we do a, a GoPro supermarket skate down or do we do the Jordan morning street part you got any community questions no but we're gonna take some calls here in a minute so all right we'll go with Jordan morning <laughs> and Raj's request Jordan morning uh listen man this guy has some incredible skateboarding watching abilities. this i was thinking of steezus the entire time <laughs> like can't oh. really see much going on here yeah but i, I love, like it i vx is it's this is not i it. love uh, yeah <laughs> this feel, ain't it, it like, <laughs> this ain't it this why why does it look so i don't know the don't, colors look dull or something right? i feel okay i'm just saying i know i'm just a dude sitting at a fucking table talking about skateboarding critiquing whatever i feel bad because this skateboarding was so incredible this could have been his pj lad wonderful horrible life part right because he did so much fucked up shit in this video part yeah but ain't nobody gonna be talking about this in a week because you, can just, you can't the, the, fucking see it yeah. the video quality those clips aren't gonna go anywhere like what can you do with that and i'm i'm again jordan you're a fucking incredible skateboarder i love watching you skate but not when it's filmed with a potato hey <laughs> who <laughs> <laughs> I love potatoes actually. Yeah, potatoes are good. Grilled potato one. Grilled thousand. potatoes. <laughs> um, Fried potatoes are now, great. Now, is this a VX? This is VX. This yeah. is VX. Yeah. But yeah. it looked worse. It's like it maybe looks the really... settings weren't is this, this done how, so... or old tapes maybe? He's know. using old tapes. I would say someone just threw it on auto. See, that's kind of what I was yeah, thinking like not that. actually cuz yeah. it not knowing the... how to use your shutter speed, not knowing how to use Maybe the, I like, the secret menu on the inside, but it does suck when the that's what happens to skating. The footage, if it doesn't look like quality wise, mm -hmm. it takes away from the skateboarding. Right, it does. I literally was thinking like I I really I enjoy more watching his Instagram than this exactly because it's yeah. he's so fucking gnarly and it's on an iPhone that looks good and like yeah. 4K I, 60. Like, yeah, let's go. I almost didn't put it on the list because of how the quality of the video footage looked. Mm -hmm. it's so but weird, like the skateboard, I was like. This kid killed it. He's so, well, yeah. so good. Let's try to let's try to look past this real quick, and yeah. let's try to look at these skate clips. Okay. Oh, here we go. I mean, tray flip nose wheelie, ridiculous on the courthouse stage. He can just bring those tray flips up. How dude. is that even possible? I don't. I don't know. Give him shoes. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I give him messes. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, Nick Tucker did that. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. But it, it still blows me away how early you have to. Tray flip, but, but it doesn't even look like he does it. No, he's coming from an angle though. True. He's coming yeah. from the side, but he doesn't have a slow tray flip. It just goes R up yeah, right, yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought he was gonna for some reason. I thought he was gonna tray flip nose grind the stage. That would have been ooh yeah. the way oh, wow. he comes totally. at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would have been insane. He could. He totally could. Tune in next week. I saw a trick he did on Instagram yesterday. He did. <sighs> Going backside, did f tray flip feeble grind pop out? Oh, oh yeah, I think I've seen a flat that. bar. Wow. That's actually insane. That's tray definitely insane. Yeah. Feeble grind. Okay, dude. You know what I thought too? I thought this like because of the beginning, whatever. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. It's gonna turn into an HD thing. <laughs> <laughs> like Maybe this, this is old footage. This is just old footage, yeah. and we're just like something's gonna never happen. No, he puts in work, bro. Like this. this crazy how his feet get so together on this to do it yeah, yeah he's fucking crazy no place like home on that one <laughs> 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 ruby slippers that was so uh, sick I mean, he did that proper tray flip uh nose grind revert uh, he such did a that cool kid. trick yo what's up with that spot is that like on a roof or something it's on a roof yeah yeah a uh, roof where uh what is that city called like not Inglewood, but like it's in that zone, yeah. It's in that zone because you can see the planes. There's like a fire station right beside it. Yeah, so I do think you, that's part of the fire station, maybe. 
Oh, do you have to like climb up? No, onto you, it? you can come through the back, like there's like a hill on the back side of it, and you mm-hmm. just climb up the hill. I think there's like tennis courts on the other side of it. Oh, yeah. oh shit. But like planes are like coming in for landings yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, you could see the. What would that be like Hawthorne or something? It's kind of over by uh, that airport, that like where Tesla's at. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That okay. zone. That's a is good trick. The, is that ground like super shitty? It's a little shitty. Is it's it? just rough. It's, it's like, like a little. Rugged. It's very it's, it's like, like porous. it's like brush course, uh, brush uh, concrete. So it's like rooftop ground, like yeah. we're talking. Well, before. it's not rooftop, but it's like it's actually concrete, but it's oh. like kind of like a brush concrete. Huh. I hate that shit. That was sick, though. That, that was, was really super good. sick. <laughs> wow. Get He's out. got a good tray flip, I'll tell you that. Right? Flip Wait, crooks. is that... Did it flip? Or is that, tra- that 360 shove it? No, it's tray flip. It's a tray flip. No. Oh, it was. Because yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he did 360 shove crook, too. Really? I, I mean... Just because he's good at 360 shove it. Mm. More a front one. side. What? It'd be a pretty wild one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of scary rolling up to a bench like that and tray flipping. I just done? always... What? So has that been done? Like 360 shove it? Didn't cream? No, 360 oh, shove it? 360 no. shove. I doubt it. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. I've seen this it. I haven't seen it. Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> what did cream do? Tray flip manual? What did he do? Tray flip, fi- tray flip five. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh. That was right. insane. Yeah. Felipe did tray flip crook in mm-hmm. his in the that's right uh, that was psycho. plan B video plan B. but I knew he was trying knowledge front sleeve flip out I guess for a while but he couldn't get it laser a table I mean that's that sounds like Felipe yeah, yeah. so goodness. I heard that he did this this is go- you'll appreciate not appreciate it but understand why uh, I guess he did this trick before and the camera glitched on the trick <laughs> so he had to go say. back and do it <laughs> again. So I'm like, damn, dude. VX1000 glitch? Oh, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, man. They actually have uh, external recorders you can use now. Oh, right. really? Mm-hmm. Or you could just get a... I wish so wait, you have the works. camera and then it's recording <laughs> onto like a digital? Yeah, you basically use the RCA cables and do like uh, a recording deck. Digital. What's well, analog into a digital deck, yeah. Right, so you're, you don't have to have a tape in there and you're just you're already digitizing it yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you can much. basically put it onto a... Solid state drive or card or whatever it might be. Oh, huh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I wish I was that good to like do a trick and then it gets messed up and then I'm like, oh, I'll just go do it again. Like mm-hmm. the gnarliest trick. I, yeah. I used to trip on shit like that. Like, oh, I'm never doing this again. Hope you got it good. Cause that's... <laughs> or I'm never coming back here with you again. <laughs> oh. I've, I've, you've deleted my clip before. <laughs> yeah, it happens, dude. It does happen. I yeah. did that on purpose, though. Yeah. <laughs> that, Zing. That yeah. last spot, like, I swear I can't unsee it. Like, I feel like Man Ramp Man is Ramp? just going to walk away. <laughs> like, the table's going to get up and it's going to walk away. Uh, that was so gnarly. We were talking about that the other day with the broken board right away. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Funny fact about that spot is uh, Felix actually made that thing lower. No way. Did he? So... Uh, that thing used to be knobbed, and there's like mm-hmm. there's two bolts. And Felix was like looking at it, and he was like, Dude, I could just flip it around, hmm. and it will still work. And he basically unbolted it, flipped it around. The knobs are on the bottom now, <laughs> and just made it like lower and skatable. Oh, yeah. Really? Damn. Wow. That's probably by my house. I skated that mm-hmm. thing before. It's. I wonder if I skated it when it was like that. Or Wait, no. where is that? It's like it's, Redondo Boulevard? No, no, it's no, that, uh, that's Hawthorne right Hawthorne, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. It's, it's over, so good. The mall is really close to that, it, too, right? It's right there. Yeah, That's yeah. the mall right yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, hmm, interesting. <laughs> What's your guys' thoughts on, like, when you land a trick and you, uh, like... Celebrate? Celebrate after. I mean, man, sometimes... Shit, you, if it was a fucking battle... Yeah. 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 I think it depends on the situation. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't think I've ever done that. I think I usually yeah. just get... I'm like... Go, just fall on the ground and I'm done. You know, you know which one <laughs> stands out to me, which is like I, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it that whole thing, but like the one that stands out to me. Remember Carson's marathon line at uh, Silmar? He goes from one rail to the other one. Oh yeah. You what was that, that in? It was like I don't remember that. You don't remember that? No. He he was does it him like or a pole? Start running after it, like, ah. No, he doesn't run after. He, he does a half cab feeble on the front mm-hmm. on the first rail. Goes up the stage, does like a big spin off the stage, long ass fucking line, and then he big spin board slides the rail at the end. It's like a fucking marathon. Look Damn. up costume marathon line. 
It's amazing. Okay. But right when he lands, he gives the fucking. Oh, really? <laughs> and I was like, I could feel it right there. I'm like, yeah. let's go. Sometimes it's well worth I, celebrating. I, I, I just think that's his character, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could tell he fucking. Like him just joking, like, he could have done it first try, like, fuck yeah, I'm the man. Yeah. <laughs> no, that one was gnarly. He tried. Damn. Dude, laser I've, flip? I've never what? seen. What? Oh, that's what that was? <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to see. I was so tempted to just like kind of sharpen it and <laughs> clean it up a little bit <laughs> each clip. I'm like, I'm not doing all that work. Right. Sharpen it up. Jeez. That was so gnarly. That's why I say, man, this was his PJ Lad's Wonderful Horrible Life part. Yeah. Like he fucked some shit up, did some MBDs and. Yeah. And That's it's, an incredible trick. Yeah. It's so gnarly. He's okay. so fucking. Jordan good. Morning, next part, HD. Come on. Please, and you, we we know you got it in you. Oh, you dude. can do that in two months. Yeah, easy. I mean, you could tell he's just getting better. Yeah, he's just getting better. Like Nolly Trace with front blunt. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's a great. You can, you can tell the camera's on auto there because it actually goes from like you can see the exposure change. Oh, so auto's not a good thing. No, you want to <laughs> manual wh- stuff, I think. white balance on somebody's t-shirt, and all that stuff. <laughs> I used Remember to always was... be the white balance because I wore four, <laughs> oh, four X white tees. <laughs> hard. No, Steve, can we do it from across, yeah, a, yeah, across yeah. a block? <laughs> Hold on, Steve, it's right there. Ryan Level, always. Let me get that, let me get that tee. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So gnarly. Snapped oh, out. Snapped Front out. big. The colors on that look a lot better right there than the previous clips. Mm. Someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Happen to catch it. Damn. Somebody was filming with HD. I want to see that other. That, I want to see that angle. Uh, yeah. You could tell too, like the that uh, heel clicker one in the beginning. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like this was probably way later. He got better. He perfected it. Yeah, he yeah, like yeah. figured it out. Yeah. Jeez, that's a hell of a trick. Big slid that fucking Super proper good. too. Yeah. He's a tall dude. These ledges. I was gonna ask are, like, you that. Oh, he's so tiny. He's so him. tall. Is he okay? <laughs> I mean, just that alone, I would have been like, cool. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Mark that shit, Raj. And dude, those ledges are so jacked now. Mm-hmm. Like, they're so... Yeah, like They've seen better days. The fucking things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw somebody last week, that that block right there, the Bondo had popped out, and then they like pushed it back in. It's kind of like <laughs> tapped it down, and we're still skating it. Amazing. Hey, it's awesome. They're still skating it, though. Yeah, that's their church. Yep. Three foot back nose bun. Jeez. That was a little better. I think Dirty Clips filmed that one, so he kind of had, he knew what he was doing a little bit. <laughs> I don't think he got that the way he wanted to get it initially, the, that trick. Yeah, he kind of it. But it's fucking insane, dude. Yeah. He's been trying it for a long time. He showed me some other angle he got, and he's like, dude, I just can't do it the way that I want to do it. I'm like, yeah, no shit, that trick's hard as hell. Yeah, it's hard to get it There's, to where it could. I think he needs like um, a longer ledge. Because it looked like he was about to push it in. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Towards yeah. the end of it, yeah. Where or you can get time to actually get so it down. It's actually and stand into it. Yeah. Or maybe go fakie. Oh, yeah, I, th- I was. Yeah. I, then you can actually get into yeah. it. Yeah, I mentioned that too. Actually, he literally snow plowed it. Kind of remind me of Rob Welsh. I don't know why, but hmm. that clip. Still a cool part, man. Morning, sick. Jordan. Morning. Yeah, a sick. lot of new tricks in there, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Very rare to see new skate tricks these days. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, good job, bud. Good job. I can't wait to see more of this dude. Yep. Mm-hmm. In HD. In HD, please. 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 Follow him on Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Motherfucker puts out The clips. shit that S posts, I'm like, damn. Yeah, he this, this fool's getting it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From San Diego. Oh, is he? Yep. Oh, SD. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, board sponsor? Doesn't have one. So we really? sponsor him, yeah. What? He's looking, dude. He's down. Wow. He, he like I think he was he would buy Baker boards or he just buys whatever he can. Oh, whatever shit. shape is. But yeah, whatever he likes and support your favorite skaters. He's he's a he's a good kid. Like he, I call him a kid, but like he's a good dude. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like got a good head and shoulders, and I'm like, all right, there you go. Yeah. It's so, kind of a cool like marketing, like if you're like at a company and like, oh, okay, let's sponsor this dude and fucking put an HD camera on him and fucking let's go. Even just get him a GoPro. Yeah, give him a GoPro. <laughs> Fuck. GoPro Max, dude. Seriously. Those new GoPros look pretty sick. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get one. I was like, damn, I can see everything <laughs> on the shelf in this supermarket. That yeah. shit, damn. <laughs> Thank you, Davey, for the Max. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro did do a supermarket skate thing, which was, it looked 
trippy as all hell, man. Yeah. That was insane. I wonder what market it was. It's got to be in Europe. Yeah. yeah. Definitely Euro vibes. Okay, let's watch some of this. What does that say? Very uh, interesting. There's Marketing? some like pedigree over there. There's well, some Caesar's the, cat oh, thing machine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, Mark me? Just going down the aisle here. The <laughs> cornflakes. <laughs> Need to put a no cornflakes up there. Matters <laughs> apps. Love matters. <laughs> Beep. Definitely had like an yeah, old that, that is Europe. video vibe. Like videos we watch the kids when they have skits like this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Thine and matters. The computer's not even on. <laughs> <laughs> And it was fully not on. <laughs> <laughs> this shit looks so fun. It does look fun. Yosef. Yeah, I wonder what deal they had to make with the this, the company. The supermarket, at least. GoPro's got some... Got some pull? They, yeah. They got some money. <laughs> they got some money. Let's see some of this stuff. Find it. Yeah, I really hope to see like this as like a normal commercial. Oh, like, like on TV, TV. Oh, that'd be yeah. cool. You know, like shot on GoPro. Yeah, that'd be sick. It'd be awesome. You start seeing people skating in supermarkets. Like, I mean, it's been going on for a while. Yeah, I've been doing that for a minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Four star, fucking uh, yeah, gone's gone's. I was just thinking about that. No, like, dun, so sick. Dun, with that music playing. I don't it was like that, that. Uh, that, like kind of NFL, NBA. Dun, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. No, 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 Careful of that fucking wine aisle. It looks, like I said, it looks trippy. The I color. see GoPro footage all the time, but like. No, it's like a true 180 degree. It's fucking really, the yeah. colors yeah. look yeah. good, though. Yeah. yeah it's super yeah. sharp. They color graded the shit out of this. I've been seeing, uh, like, Trent McClung got one. I just saw it through Instagram, and he's posting all of his homies mm -hmm. skating, and it looks awesome. Yeah. And it's got like a three. This is the three? camera that Eli was talking about. Oh, Eli okay. Yeah. Does, yeah. It, does it have a 3D element to it? Like no, not 3D, I'm sorry, 360. 360, yeah. So it was basically it, it shoots in 360, then you can kind of basically um, set uh, keyframes to basically show what you want, whether in, mm. it's in 16 by 9 or you can do vertical, you can do what? square. Yeah, you can basically pick and choose like whatever you want to do with it. So like you Amazing. could like, I saw Trent. You can manipulate like, the shit out of it. Trent, wow. Trent did like a kick whip over it. Like it just, you put it on the ground and you mm. kick over it and it like. In the clip, it like shows them rolling up, do the and keyboard, over it, the and it follows frame. them. And I was right. like, "How? What? Yeah. What? Wow. Yeah, keyframes? Yeah, but it looks yeah. good though. It doesn't look all yeah. There's, jacked. there's a part yeah. here where like he um, swats some balls off the thing. Oh, that's right. And yeah. like they kind of like it pans over to pans matters over a little bit, and it looks so cool. Yeah. Whoa, dude, this is Whoa, insane. Is now go back to that one clip you were about to play. That. Uh, oh, this this one, Raj. That one. Oh no, 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 no. this one, this one. Where yep. the this was edge. amazing. Yeah. When they started doing that, I was like, oh, whoa, this is that was sick. Sick. I was scared. Yeah, it gets serious. Oh, We're my dead. God. What did imagine he... him cutting his leg wide exactly. open. Exactly. Yeah. Those things are not I dull. I would have gone yeah. and looked for the coffee aisle. Yo, that was insane. That was, that was so psycho. cool. Bro, but, you're crazy. Yeah. Not going to lie, man. I was watching this for the first time. I thought that was Fabrizio. <laughs> Adelson is his name? Yeah. Adelson? Adelson? Guys, fucking rips. Yeah. Dude, you watch your head too? Yeah, the lights up top. Grab a drink real quick. Right, these, all, these, they all write for DC, right? It looks like it. It yeah. seems like it was a yeah, GoPro DC commercial. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, let me play the balls clip right here we're talking about right now. Oh! So cool. That looks nuts. Damn, the colors, bro. What the? And he just had like the little yeah, mouthpiece in it. But I even think. like the other angle, too, like the, the way the balls, they look like they're almost like superimposed in there. I know, right? Like CGI. Hit that dude in the head. Like if this was a 3D video and the balls came at you, you'd oh, yeah. be like, oh, oh you yeah. know, we're in balls. Your... Be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Balls. We were talking about balls earlier. 
You were talking about balls. Don't <laughs> And uh, let's go back to matters on oh, aisle five. That freezer looks glorious. <laughs> it looks really nice, dude. Remember that TV show? They used to like, uh, you would like go run shopping. To, yeah, go fucking, shopping and bring, yeah. like they got guys grocery. Oh, guys games. grocery yeah. games is yeah. the the remake of that. Triple but you're, G. you're talking about what's it called? Uh, guys grocery games. Yeah. Oh, it's like supermarket sweet. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. What an interesting a concept. I know, huh? <laughs> That's an amazing concept, right? Like, what would you go get? I'd be yeah, like, yeah, like liquor aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you unlock this fucking cabinet? Yeah. <laughs> get the key, get the key. <laughs> go find the key. <laughs> voof, voof, voof. <laughs> oh, that top shelf shit. Here's a produce aisle. Damn, pops with nose grind. That's cool. Bro, Matters almost got that. He's almost ended getting... Ended up very badly. He almost got killed twice in this video. Dude, that didn't look fun either. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so did Chris Ray film this? I don't think so. No. No. Whoever did did a fucking excellent job. Oh, really did. Or something. It's whoever edited did an excellent job. Yeah. yeah. Because with those cameras, it doesn't yeah, matter where the is. fucking point mm-hmm. it. It's how you manipulate the footage. Right. Yeah. And the colors, too. that part yeah. right there. That one's sick right there. Oh, hang wow. 10 power slide. Little what? Yeah. GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. He's running a Julian Davidson board. Yeah. Well, that's an element board, though, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he's on Death Wish now? Now. Yeah. 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 Who is? Matters? Julian. Julian, Julian, Julian. Davidson. Julian. Which is pretty sick. And he's on America, too. America, Julian. yeah. yeah sick. He was on any before, right? He was on Etnies, so, right? yeah, yeah, and then went to... Yeah. It wasn't much of a jump. But he was off Etnies for a little while, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. He yeah, probably was... just did that. Cl- he was like, oh, no, I don't want to clean that up. I don't want to restack that thing. We use the phone. That fun as fuck. That could hurt, though, man. Those yeah. cans, depending yeah. what Dude, it you is. You take a can for to the tail bar. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's it's foam rolling. That's it. I love seeing that dude push. Yeah. Dining. Dining is amazing. He's so good. Very cool piece. GoPro Supermarket. Go yeah. go go peep it. All the links in the description to all the videos we talk about are in the description. The links are there in the description. What? What? Huh? Is that tuna? Bumblebee? Oh. It was heirloom tomatoes and cans. Oh. Uh, I was like toasted tuna uh, sounds good right now. Uh, we got Jake from Westchester. He's alive. Oh, yeah. Checking in, man. What's going on, Jake? Hey, what's up? It's been a while. What's up, guys? What are you doing, buddy? Uh, a lot of skating. A lot. A lot. It sounds like his voice is changing a little bit. Well, he's getting he's older. growing up, dude. Yeah. Good. How old are you now, Jake? 22? Um, for, uh, I'm 14. Okay. I'm going to be 15 the day after the election. Mm. Kind of bad timing for my birthday. But it's all good. It's okay. You just do your thing, okay? You just do your thing, Jake. Are you going to vote this year? Uh, no, not okay. yet. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Jake, are you yeah. listening to us on the speakerphone or what's? Uh, yeah, I can. I'll take out speaker. Yeah, let's switch that. Yeah, All right. is that better? Yeah, well, yeah. That's better. yeah. So, Jake, <laughs> what is going on? How are you doing? What tricks are you learning? Let's let's do a little catch up real quick. Yeah, so I got my tray. I got it like perfect. It's down. I'm popping them. Perfect. Nice. nice. Good tray flip. Nice. Yeah. Better than Kelly's. Um. <laughs> Uh, not yet. <laughs> you got it, bud. What else you got, Jake? Um, I got my fakie front heels. Ooh, uh, good one. Those, uh, the other day. Yeah, they're really fun. Uh, I feel super cool. That's a hard trick. I also, it's a weird trick. It's pretty It's unique. weird. I kind of just, like, I, like, I'm not really, like, a heel flipper, but I got these shoes. They're called the, uh, Adidas Copa. Mm-hmm. They're, they're awesome. Nice. It's, it's, like, heel amazing so like i was just like you know fake your friend heel and i went in those are those the ones with the little um, rubber uh, rubber on the ollie pad ollie pad like uh, uh no nah. like they're like, they're like the, i don't know how to describe they're like a soccer shoe right but they shoe. nice and they're, like, they're super comf- they're super comfy jake approved um, Jake's jake approved they sound comfy jake yeah <laughs> colin hook them up yeah dude i was like I was walking in them the other day and I was like, 
my feet felt like it was on like memory foam or something. It was crazy. Well, what's your board set up right now, Jake? What are you, what are you riding? Uh, I'm riding a girl eight, one, two, five, uh, they hooked it up with that. What, what, Both what, what, uh, what, what, what pro? Uh, Carol. Oh, my Ooh. Carol. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Run 825 now? 825. <laughs> uh, 81. 81. Where did you buy the board? Yeah, little, uh, dude, he's like, uh, he hooked it up with the board. He's who, this. Who did? He, uh, this guy, Dave Scoot, uh, he hooked it up with oh, his board. Dave Scoot? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a hell of a yeah. collection. <laughs> yeah. Did dude always tags us yeah. in every yeah. house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That dude has a skate shop inside of his house. Yeah. yeah. He like, could he, open up crazy. Like the, the, what, what's the skate shop? that, that Like a vintage oh, skate LA, shop? Oh, LA yeah. Skate. LA, or there's one South Bay Skate, too, or something like mm-hmm. that. Like, it's just a fucking... So you got that the 8125, eight, what kind of wheels? What size wheels? Uh, ghetto child, like 52s. Okay. But they're like shrunken down a little bit. Um, I'm riding like Thunder Truck. Perfect, man. Yeah, oh, okay. Man. Set it's, up. It's like he's like an OG. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, really, you know? Ghetto child. He's got Ghetto child, Mike Carroll board. <laughs> he, he, he listens. That's yeah. what he does. The young OG. The young OG. Future is yeah. bright in you, Jake. What shoes were Comfy in. <laughs> Scopa. Yeah, Adidas Copa. There's just they're crazy. They're amazing. All right, what trick are you? <laughs> what, what trick are you working Wait. on though? Uh, nollie flips, nollie flips, oh, and nollie heels. That's gonna trying be to get my one. switch game. Trying to get my switch game better. Like I can like, I just think I have to jump back more when I flick because what's ha- like I posted an attempt on my story, on my Instagram story of a nollie flip. Mm-hmm. It was just like. If I'm not committing to it. I'm just kind of like flipping and like letting my foot land on like the board upside down. Uh, so I gotta like, I gotta work on like the flick and everything. And I like flicked a switch heel the other day, but mm-hmm. I gotta like, you know, I gotta work on them. And where do you skate? Are you just in front of your house? Are you going to the park? Like where? where? Oh, sorry. Uh, the other day I went to, um, uh, like last week, the homie drove me out to a uh, near shell skate park. And it's like this, like just prefab park with. Uh-huh. Big down rail, and I tried to board slide that actually, and I almost did it. And there's just a ton of hips and everything. A down so rail a there a little bit. with stairs, or just like off a bank or something? No, nah, just like off of a bank. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's it's an art. Right. It's like a fun little park. Well, pretty soon, and Jake will be reviewing your video part on here, man. Huh? One day. <laughs> yeah, Jake. Jake <laughs> doing it, man. And shout out to uh, Dave Scoop, man. Tell me so we said what's up, dude. Oh, yeah. He tags us in every post. Every single post. Great. Yeah. Okay. I'm here right now. Yeah. Always Just good go, Always good catching up with you, Jake, man. Like to know what Jake and yeah, Westchester's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, your connection is jacked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been like that since day one. Well, listen, Jake, you keep us up to date. We'll take your call. You know, listen, we, I see you kind of jump on and jump off the calls, you know, every week. We, you know, we try to catch you. Sometimes we can't take calls. We're in the middle of the stuff and whatever, but keep calling back, man. We love to keep uh, getting the, getting the updates. Jake update. Jake updates. The last couple of times it's either been like my Wi-Fi for like a couple of weeks. I didn't have a phone charger that was working. So like Damn. my phone battery was just all over the Can't place. Can't you go to the AMPM and get a fucking new charger? Oh, those are the worst. <laughs> I'm just saying, get something. Dude, nothing worse than getting a charger yeah, that no. like barely charges your phone, dude. dude. Like half a charge, dude. The worst, dude. How's the fucking difference no. between the old iPhone charger and the new one? The new oh, one so good. Is oh, the USB C charger. Insane. Oh, you mm-hmm. can charge your whole phone in like 20 minutes. It's insane. Mm-hmm. All right, Jake. I just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, <laughs> well, thanks for calling, Jake. Man, you, you know, like I said, we're gonna be we're gonna be reviewing your part in no time, man. Uh, All right. Thank you. Uh, we, all, we all love you, Jake. Uh, yeah. Peace. All right. All right, all right Jake. Peace. Later. Goodbye, guys. Later, Later dog. Look at that. Wow. Jake is so sick. <laughs> I ever love Jake, man. Carl Watson.
That was in the song. Davy James. That was good. That Davy was James sent that. It's in. actually funny. I just started smoking weed again. Oh wow. Yeah. That's funny. I haven't been smoking weed for a long ass time. And me and my wife like will take a, literally a joint lasts us two weeks. Oh sure. <laughs> like two Tolerance is hit. mad just love. One hit and I'm like, turn on the Netflix. Let's just chill. <laughs> All right, we got LD's pick of the week, man. What do we got, LD? Uh, this one's this. fucking gnarly. I saw you commented on it. Uh, Ryan Connors. Ryan Connors. Ryan Connors. Oh, this clip was nuts. Yes. You Ryan see Connors see ribs. No. Yeah. <laughs> what? How are you going that fast at this trick? Oh, I know. I wasn't just the last thing I'm ever expecting is this trick. Oh, my that God. Right? Insane. Wow. Ryan Connors is fucking good, dude. Uh oh. Holy shit. What's that episode? Nose bong? No. What is it the Daniel trick? That? What do they call that? Like feeble. feeble. But he did that's feeble. That's like he the, grinded. Remember Felix would do like, is that what he did? He do like board side to like nose grind. Like when he nose No, but he would do like feeble. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Feeble to yeah, switch. Yeah, he would do switch feeble switch to switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I couldn't figure out that first trick. I thought thought of Daniel. Daniel yeah, yeah. does that shit. Well, Daniel, well, Daniel does he would do board slides. Right, that's why I didn't know if it was that or not. Yeah, let's dissect this tree. Yeah, this is like a what do they call this? Like nose dash, dash? Nose, nose press, nose, nose press, back one eighty, like going hell. fast, Hop. going fast. Hop. Wow, Hop. fakey Manny, half cap flip out. You gotta be so quick with your feet with Damn. that. Yo, he did a hella good, hella good. That's sick. Good choice. That was amazing. I was kind of, and I just. I don't want to say anything bad, but like I looked at to go, I go to the barracks and I go to trans world and I go to these companies to make sure, not that it mattered, but well, like, like post. Yeah. If they posted it or not. Cause mm -hmm. if they didn't, I'm like, Ugh, well, sometimes it goes bad. viral. <laughs> right. And you right. just have to talk about it. Hey, you want to show them some love though? Yeah. 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 I love that he tried to varial flip after. That's what it was. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What a, that's yeah. This line is to go insane. fast at it too. Like he's going kind of fast at that. Oh, Damn. very sick. Wow. So That's dope. Amazing. What do you think? Let's give him a soundtrack. Carl Watson's camera gave me a That's amazing. Elvis, pick out a week. God. I don't even remember. There you Carl go. Watson gave me weed. Carl Watson yep. straight up gave me weed. At, at uh, Third Army, right? Third Army, yeah. Ryan Connors, LD's Pick of the Week. Davey James sent that song in. Good stuff. Yeah, that was cool. Good stuff. By the way, we have a honorable mention, right, Raj? Right, right LD? Yep. Oh, is that LD's? I'm that was, sorry. Oh, because we, we missed one last week. Okay, so the last week oh, there's that was uh, John Delo. Oh, yeah, okay. Missed, missed the John Delo one. Are we showing that one? Yeah, of oh, course. Because yeah. everybody thought it was me. Oh, it did like I got here. tagged like a hundred thousand <laughs> really? times. Yeah, dude, that shit. Yeah, that's... if he had a stud belt on, yeah, he would look just yeah. like. Yeah. 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 So who? Po I think Thrasher posted it, yep. and I commented like everybody was tagging me, so I commented like, "Hey guys, you like my trick?" <laughs> and everybody was like, Amazing. "Oh my god!" Oh wow! By the way, Thrasher's never posted me. Can you believe that? That's weird. Yeah. I was just no, thinking about that. Something. I was just thinking about that the other day. You what, actually, what have you done? You lately? don't skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? What clips? You don't. You don't what have me. you done for me lately? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, that's right. You do skateboard. I forgot. Yeah. 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 All right. Yes, they just, posted me uh, before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Caesar doesn't like my slappies. Hmm. Okay. That's well, neither does Thrasher, I guess. I'm just still waiting on a stationary manual. Oh, jeez, bro. Oh, I fucking had a moment laughed out loud just walking down the street <laughs> thinking about coal <laughs> my, oh, oh my god i People. was like oh my god i just i heard the tap oh yeah yeah like like, like that like <laughs> 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 it's 
Tell, tell him what happened outside, LD. Do we tell him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, hey, I'm going to tell him. Go ahead. No, okay. That's yeah, we're, that's Jesus was fucking talking shit to Roberts about he can't manual. It was like two, two episodes two ago. Two episodes yeah. ago. And this dude in his dad's shoes goes out front. We all kick it. In for, you know, we take break. Go kick it. There's these little, like, cement squares. Like, yeah, small. Okay. Yeah. Oh, those no. but almost enough, fits a board. No, it does. Yeah. It, it fits a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy gets on the board. Roger's board. Roger. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen Roger's boards? <laughs> you, you, yeah, I saw a lineup of boards. Yeah. You yeah. picked the one. Yeah. He gets on. Gets on it. We're all looking at him. He's like rolling for a second, and then it's but, just quiet as shit. But tell him why, though. You tell him why. He's oh, doing the, this. the the challenge. The um, what is it? Cost the SLS. Him? SLS. Uh, yeah. And it's so quiet. And then he goes to do the manual. And he says it's so easy, he could easily do it. Yeah, I've, I used to, Steezus, you don't know this about me, but when I was a kid, where I grew up, there was a slab of concrete, and I would just stand there and practice <laughs> manuals. <laughs> All the time. It was just that I just, that's just what I had. It's what I did. <laughs> and literally, it was I, a second. That wasn't even a second. It was, it was maybe just, a second. went up and then down. And it just, <laughs> <laughs> but it was so quiet <laughs> that all you heard was ding. <laughs> he wasn't I my saw, board though. Yeah, it wasn't like I was like skate, you know. Whatever. Yeah, it was the, like, I literally, I went, home, <laughs> I went home and told my wife, I was like, I <laughs> laughed my fucking ass off. I haven't laughed that hard. I can't even tell you. You were right. literally right, right. rolling on the I ground. I was on the ground. Oh, I was so, crying. Yeah. We all like, fell yeah, over. We were all, like, I mean, he, he was, ran inside. Even I was laughing. It was yeah. funny. You were on the ground. I just couldn't believe what just happened. It was like, <laughs> you know, the old video where they're like, every, the it's like, oh, and everyone like goes crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what happened. Yeah, and was, Roger was like, "What the hell did I just miss?" Yeah, you know, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Dude. It, was it was hilarious. Even Chris <laughs> laughed. Yeah. No, no, it was funny. No, fuck yeah. Because I wasn't literally. I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna do this now. It was just like no. I grabbed Roger's board and was just like yeah. messing around with it. <laughs> you kind of tried it. It's, it didn't go immediately. Half a <laughs> immediately. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was hilarious. It was pretty funny. Uh, Giovanni. Yeah, I had this other one, dude. Ch trip this. Dude, so Ooh. sick. What? Like you have to be, I love, and then that, he's just, oh, yeah. and, oh, his phone. he don't care about his phone. <laughs> I love, I was a, in a front hurricane stage of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You I remember, remember you were doing those I, a lot. I loved them. They were so fun. Uh, that one, you have to like, he's straight and, and it, then goes. Yeah, it's twisted. like the hip yeah. action there is. Woo. Hey, you know what I liked? I saw a clip of you switch. Hurricane. I did that. That one's tough, dude. I, I did that shove it out, too. Same How do you bar. mean shove it? Mm. Or just like body Body girl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's well, a good one. There you go, man. LD's pick of the week. Good stuff. Ryan Connors, song by Davy James. Rastafari. Good pick. Good pick, LD. Yeah, yeah. LD. It was a good one. All right. I'd like to give a special thank you to our sponsors. Santa Cruz Skateboards, Richta Wheels, Mob, Grip Tape. Thank you guys so much for uh, sponsoring the show. You guys uh, help us keep the lights on, man. You forgot to add the, the grippiest. Yeah. Oh, well, that's Kelly's job. The grippiest. The grippiest. Yep, that's my job. What are the what are Richtas? Uh, the, the best. Smoothest. The, the smoothest. smoothest. The smoothest. The best. The rolliest. The rolliest. The rolliest. That's a great tagline. We have the most rolliest wheels. I'll, trust me, I'll invoice you. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Santa Cruz skateboards, the the poppiest. Besides chocolate, Poppy. I, should, I should just hire. Yeah, I should hire you, Chris. Hire, dude, I'm telling you, bro. Chris, I need to like promote these wheels. What should I do? They're, they're rolliest. <laughs> Super easy. Like, yeah. do I just put that on the page, like on an ad? Just Chris yeah. Roberts says the, the rolliest. rolliest. Yeah. Trust me, I'll sell a million of them. Uh, I'd also like to tell people about our highlights channel. We have a highlights channel. That's uh, the nine club highlights where we take clips from the shows, both shows, the experience a stop and chat and the regular nine club show. When we get that back up and running, uh, go subscribe to that, man. It's basically like, um, what is that shit called? Fucking the best of who? 
<laughs> it's a highlights channel. We take clips from the shows and put them on the highlights channel. It's a great channel. So go check that out. Uh, go to our YouTube page. You know, you can click the subscribe button there. Then head over to the highlights channel. Links in the on our YouTube page. Oh, dude, the best things are the the cover pages. It's nine club for idiots. It's nine club what? For idiots. Oh, like a right. <laughs> Like a, it's like a catch up, right? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, what did they talk about this week? If you don't oh, watch like the entire episode, there's cooking for dummies or something. Yes. Like yeah. That. Yeah. 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 Not for dummies. There Not you go. For dummies. There you go. Yeah. And go check out our deals and discounts page on our website. On our website, we have all of our deals and discounts that we have going on throughout the month and everything. So it's, it's rad, you know? That's awesome. So there you go, man. And Nine Club merch there you, on yeah. the web store. You know what I'm saying? We got that too. That's there. It's and, right over there. It's really comfy. I don't know, man. Should we talk about this Osiris D3 controversy that's going on right now? That's pretty funny, man. It's funny, right? <laughs> it was. I liked, I liked. I enjoyed that piece, actually. Yeah, it was dude. cool, yeah. It's just interesting. Yeah, you've never heard that dude, Brian Reed, uh, his his story. Right. Yeah. Right. I still don't know what, what to believe. Well, the funny thing is that for years, we've all been hearing, like, we all heard Dave, the same Dave story. Dave Mayhew like showed up late and ended up with that shit. Right. Yeah. That that's was the story, story that's, throughout skateboarding. Yeah. That's the like, story. And I always yeah. felt like it was confirmed or something, yeah. right? Like I, not it was a rumor. I, oh, you yeah, know, it's true. Yeah. Like yeah. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. whatever. I always had this picture too. Like he showed up to the meet, like you know, like a meeting, like the big long table, and yeah. he just like showed yeah. up late. Like oh fuck, and then everybody gave, chose their shoes. Everybody yeah. chose. Yeah. Their yeah. Shoes. That was the last shoe on the table, right, right? And he was like, oh, I guess that's my shoe. That's my shoe. Yeah. That's that was the. The Story word on for the, years. For years. All Ever, of us know it. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Ask any skateboarder. That's the story. But see, this right here, that's what he fucked up. Like, Brian yeah. Reed, you shot yourself in the foot. You well, said, like... No pun. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to say designed by Matthias Ringstrom, and then y'all ran that throughout the life of Osiris. So now when it's twenty, you know, 2018, whenever they did the Under Armour joint, and... ASAP Rocky is looking for the designer of the D3. You go through the history books. Oh, Dave Mayhew. Yeah. Right. You, you guys wrote Done. that history. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but that's how I think every skate shoe is kind of like No, that. it's designed by like Jordan 3, designed by Tinker Hatfield, endorsed by Michael Jordan. Yeah. Right. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. But in skateboarding, it's usually not like that at all. Yeah, and that's because yeah. I don't I think about it. I don't marketing. Look how many <laughs> skate shoes are you know, famous skate shoes that you have no idea who actually designed them. I know Frank Boystel, like he did a lot of stuff for S. Then we did the, stuff we did the, the scheme. scheme. Mm -hmm. And like, I just found out about that 20 years later, mm -hmm. you know, like you never hear those, the behind the scenes. So, yeah. yeah it was kind of weird that he just, he got, I mean, I get it. He got mad, but like. Yeah, he, he was definitely upset by it. And uh, again, rightfully so, but yeah. it's like, yo, in the time of what y'all were doing, it kind of, you know, it, it, Made things a little bit cloudy when you go back to yeah, to right. where it originally started. But that's what everybody was doing. Everybody still does. They that. made their yeah. own mess. You yeah, know? it's exactly. like yeah. Scott Johnston designs a shoe, but works on it with the rider. It's not Scott Johnston. Well, no, it's shoe. a it's, it's, it's the professional rider's shoe, right? But I think that because of what's come like nowadays with the big box, they wrote brands on the box and they were designed by Dave Mayhew. That's where they fucked up. Yeah, the big box brands nowadays that have. The way, like, they can do the storytelling with, like, Nikhil's shoe or, you know, with Tyshawn's sure, shoe sure, and all sure, Like, yeah. now you know who the designers are. And I think some of that now comes from the fact that they were professional skateboarders at one time that are now designing these shoes. Or you've got team managers that used to be skateboarders and all that. So you kind of have different ways to tell that story. Mm -hmm. and I think that's super important. But that, that's something that they should take from, you know, like I said, Tinker and Jordan. Like, the designers should be champions just as much as the professional skater. Like... They made the shoe technical enough for you to skate at the highest ability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because of that, there should be some sort of give and take. Yeah. I agree. Justin, what yeah. was it like when you designed your shoe? I the first shoe they had. Okay. They were like, I, I wanted the first uh vulcanized shoe on S. I, I that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And they were like, I, we have one. Like you can put your name on it. The first one. Yeah. And then the second one, um, I worked with them. And then the the last one, I drew on a fucking napkin and gave it to him. Mm. Oh. That's sick. Do you still have the napkin? I don't. I Damn. wish. Fuck those little things, right? You don't think about it at the time, right? Yeah. I probably uh, maybe they. I gave it to him. So. Dude, I love seeing this behind the scene footage of them back in the day because 
Oh my! So funny. Huh? It's so funny, man. Man, Osiris came out, or it was big back then, but when the this storm, this storm, dude. I can't imagine, right? Because he made millions off the shoot. Dave Mayhew, the mm-hmm. company yeah. made. Well, I don't know. What, I don't want to know what to believe anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Right. What was that? Fred Durst. Yeah, that's what sparked it. I really didn't even realize that. Mm-hmm. I, I vaguely remember that because that was like the VMAs or some shit. That's crazy. But that's because that was why, like. We called him the fat kid food court. Like you would see every fat kid in the food court wearing those because it was that it didn't matter if you skated. The D three like Pac Sun Journeys, you can get those yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, I would see girls wearing them too. Yeah, oh, it was oh, so yeah, hot. for sure. I literally remember like picking one up and be like, I didn't even fucking like it, but I was like, should I fucking buy this? <laughs> I don't even know why, but I, maybe I should. I never, I never did. But. So it's all thanks to yeah. Fred Durst. I know, right? I only. I mean, it's so funny how that happens though, because like. You fast forward to early 2000s, Lil Wayne's wearing Sky Tops and yeah. Bieber's wearing the TKs right. and Supra's out of here. Yeah. And it's award shows, like them performing. It's, 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 it's tried and true. Well, it's dude, written in history. Bieber was been rocking the Excels. Excels too. The yeah. brown ones and the mm-hmm. black ones, all sold out. Gone. Yep. It's, That's so crazy. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Look at that fucking shoe. Jesus Christ. Wow. Jesus. It's a lot of armor on that. Oh, like that's armadillo. what it is, armor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, I saw a video of an armadillo yesterday. That shit is nuts, bro. Have you seen that? <laughs> I know that came out of nowhere. What, dude? Armadillo when it like, you know, it's like got all the the armor, the armor on it. It just goes into a little ball, oh, yeah. and this little girl goes and picks it up and like puts it in the in the in like the the forest or something like that. Huh. But it did. <laughs> Sorry. That's what it looks like. It looks just like that. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. No, wow. D3 is... It's it's weird to say this, but like the D3 is... And I love Dave Mayhew. I love his skating. The technician, he was like one of my favorite. Like one of my favorite parts in the storm. But this shoe is like more infamous than Dave Mayhew. For days. You know what oh, I mean? Like definitely. it's... You don't you think of the D three and you associate with Osiris. You don't necessarily associate if you don't skate associated with Dave Mayhew. Yeah, you really yeah you don't think of that shoe and think of him. Right, it's right. it's more of its own entity yeah. at, at that point. And you, know? you wouldn't even a tech a technical skater probably wouldn't be wearing something like this. I felt like you yeah. know what I mean like you want board feel, don't you? Kind of <laughs> was his name anywhere on the shoe except for D three? Was it on the insole? I think maybe on the, the tongue. tongue. Yeah. The tongue on the is tongue. where it okay. said designed, designed by, by yeah. on the uh, inside, right? Mm-hmm. You know what's interesting? I didn't know that it was actually redone. It was the D3 then 2001. 2001. I remember yeah. that part. That's what yeah. that is, right? Yeah, because the D, the original D3 had the loop in the middle where you could bring the strings back around. Mm. So the laces would go through those big ones and then they would cut. It was like a, I think they showed it in another piece, but it was like a big like plastic ring and you could loop them through and it go hmm. back. Uh, it literally looks like everything they had in the design room, they just... Put it onto a just one it together. <laughs> Bring <laughs> everything. People want lace loops. They want rubber toes. They want fucking airbags. Like they don't want their pants getting yeah. piss stains in the bathroom. Yeah, that was funny. Like, Yo, was that like, was like, the fuck like the ODS, the old dirty smolik, sag not drag, the technology they had that, oh. that went it was like the Velcro. The the pants. The Velcro yeah, the, the pants had the Velcro and then you took the back tab off and put it on the pants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking genius. Yeah, that was good. Did you have those? I didn't. No, my mm-hmm. homie Lyndon. Shout out to Lyndon Parsons back in uh, Lee Summit. He had those joints. They were fucking crazy at the time, but <laughs> it was sick. Oh, because I, I DM'd uh, Brian, this is Brian Reed, and I was like, "Hey, man, that piece was really cool. Like, interesting to hear your side." And we kind of talked back and forth. I'm like, "Oh, just come on the show sometime." He's like, "Yeah, I think." And he mentioned that I think he designed the uh, the G bag. Oh Ooh. wow! That was a big thing Yo, too. That was, <laughs> that's, I forgot about that. They Dude. hit that one. Yeah, yeah. the D three and the G bag came out. The G bag was hard. Was hard. Yeah. <laughs> Felix brought that one hard too. I believe oh, yeah. it. A lot of people did. Dude, so genius. Yeah, a fucking backpack with speaker done. <laughs> and like a perfect little compartment for your discman. Oh Sitting yeah, too. chilling. Remember the whole, kids don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like disc man. What are you talking about? Yeah, right. You got fifty thousand songs in your pocket. We had thirteen on one disc. You better oh, not yeah. walk hard. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of made you appreciate what you're fucking it's listening to. Real. All of them, for real. All seventeen songs on that motherfucker. We're listening to all of them. That's right. Can't go fucking back. Unless you made a mixtape. 
Unless you made a mixtape. Mixed disc. Mixed disc, yeah. Napster. You guys oh, yeah. Napster. Of course. Napster, of course. Napster. Napster LimeWire, oh, BearShare. Yeah. Give me all the viruses. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Listen, we got a special guest on the phone right now, man. We got Adam Carlson. Does that name ring a bell? No? Adam Carlson, you there, buddy? What's happening, boys? Adam Carlson owns Plus Skateboards. Oh, oh shit. Big dog. Oh, Plus Skateboards, hard. listen. If you guys don't know, he sent Raj Magnesium Rails. And he sent LD a little uh, thing with the wrong date of his daughter's birth and uh, like a whole little thing. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> Hasn't sent me anything yet. But what's going on, dude? <laughs> Nothing, man. Just uh, making some skateboards, uh, cleaning up my house. I had a bear break into my house this morning, so that was kind of oh, fucked up. Amazing. Fuck do you Did live? he pick the lock? Oh. <laughs> he slid open my back glass door. Actually, that's really. Amazing. They're wow. smart. They're, They're smart evolving. animals. Was it a They're smart? Was it a, a, a cub or was it a um the big big dogs? Oh, well, he he was a big dog. He uh, <laughs> he got in my fridge. He got in a cupboard. I had to scare him out of the house. Luckily, up here we have black bears, and they're actually more afraid of humans. Mm. But he could have he he could have fucked me up pretty good. <laughs> so you were home? Yeah, no, he woke me up because he uh, dropped some shit on the floor when he was trying to steal food from me. No Dude, way. you cut you oh you wake up thinking maybe there's a prowler in the house, a and here's bear. a fucking black bear in your refrigerator making a Going PB and J. That's Dude, it was yeah. I've lived up in the mountains for 16 years, and I've never ever had this happen. I mean, I, I hear about it happening, but usually it's a like a vacation home where no mm -hmm. one's even around, and far and few between. You hear the story where someone's home, and they catch it on their like, Camera. you know, their Nest Cam or yeah. whatever. But I fucking well, I was home, and I came down and said, "What's up to Yogi?" Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, brown bears are supposedly vicious. Those things will just tear you apart, and you just. Don't yeah. lock your sliding yeah. glass door. Is that a thing? He just does now. <laughs> so, so, yeah, the funny thing, uh, the latch is broken on it, so I can't actually lock it. And now I am going to, on my machine that I make skateboards and what I made LD's gift on and uh, what I made the magnesium rails on, it's a CNC machine. Mm -hmm. I am going to make a new latch for my door now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> like, you bro, you've, you've made all of these things you never thought to. Like, <laughs> or just take a broomstick and put it in the hardware store. Go to the hardware store. <laughs> the hardware but wait, store. Was, was the door <laughs> a little bit Jesus. open? No, it was it was totally closed, but Steezus nailed it. I actually have a, a, a broomstick shoved in there now in case he decides to come back tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, you're an engineer player. Yeah. I'm just, you know, <laughs> trying to help you. Yeah, help yourself. Speaking of all the stuff that you've made, <laughs> let, let's talk about the, the magnesium rails, man. So what did you do? Just get a couple slabs of magnesium and then kind magnesium of... Magnesium bar. Yeah, magnesium bar, and then you just programmed your CNC. You obviously d designed it in CAD, right? And then you had your little CNC machine route all that stuff out, right? Yeah, no, 100%. Um, I did all the design work in a CAD program. And then magnesium is not cheap. So I could only find it for a, a lower cost in round bar form. Oh, okay. So uh, I had to take a round bar of magnesium and mill it into a rectangle and then do all the finishing work, like the holes, the chamfered edges, and then all the engravings, like, Ooh, you know, Turn up team, or not, yeah, team 69 and yeah, all that, rails, yeah. all that stuff. Amazing, dude. Yeah, Raj was hyped on him. Dude. Yeah, You're yeah. still hyped on him, right? You, yeah. go, you take your board down there once in a while? Yeah. That's rad. No, I can't wait to uh, see slash hear the video. I just, I, I can't even imagine what it feels like either. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it does feel like you're grinding when you slide. That's so rad. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Magnesium. Raj wanted to try him for a long Hell time, yeah. man. Yeah. Finally got him, man. It's amazing. And I don't want to be a spoiler, but I don't want to be a spoiler, Chris, but uh, I, I got your little under your breath. Don't tell comment, me. Don't tell so me. What is it? coming next. Oh, okay. Don't uh, tell me what the gift is, bro. I don't like this. I don't like the spoiler. Oh, no, I'm not telling okay. you, but you are next. You are next. Okay. <laughs> He's a dose over there. Okay. I just joke around, dude. I don't care. I like that you. That Raj got <laughs> I know. His I know. Good, got his present, no, he's not know. joking at all. <laughs> no, he's not one bit. Serious. Yep. Um, <laughs> but that's rad, man. So plus skateboards. So skateboard brand up in Tahoe. What, what's your What's your vibe with that? Yeah. So me and a buddy from Minnesota. Uh, his name is Matt. We decided to. We just wanted to make skateboards, dude. Like. Mm -hmm. We weren't trying to be the next element. We just wanted, we skateboarded together since we were 12. We're both, both 37, 38 years old. 
and we press our boards up here. We machine them, we screen print the graphics and yeah, it's just, it's awesome. It's, it, you know, keeps us young and makes us feel like we're in the industry. I mean, we're not like, we're not in it like you boys, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a good feeling and it's awesome making a skateboard and watching a kid push it around and see the excitement on their face. That is super amazing. Rad. That is amazing. So like you sell them on your website or you kind of just local up there with the skate shop or how, how does that work? Yeah. So we have a uh, plus skateboards.com. You can always order on there. You can uh, DM us on Instagram and I do custom sizing for people so you can get your, the right wheelbase width, length, and all that stuff because you know some people are really particular and oh, yeah. uh from the professor schmidt episode as you guys have now learned some people really like to dial it in and some people just need an 825 or right. 775 <laughs> yeah and, and you then, guys uh, <clears throat> we also yeah and then we have the local skate shop up here called the skate house okay and they're they're super core shop so we we only distribute to them and it, it, it does well. Yeah. We love it. Amazing. Sick. Brad. Um, you guys, they have amazing prices and like a uh, Noah from community made hit you up. Right. And got a board from you. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Noah's the man. Um, yeah, he was super excited to get a custom board with the length of nose and tail he wanted in wheelbase. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Noah. He threw a couple extra bucks Did he... on the order. Uh, that dude's the man. Yeah. And I love what he's doing with community made. Like in number 33, you guys are crushing it. So cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. He was like, I want to give him more money. Like he was like, this price is crazy. Like you're doing this shit. Like he's like, he texted me. He's like, dude, I gave him more money. Like, it's yeah. <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> dude, that's dope. So you must have loved Professor yeah. Smith's episode. No, I mean, oh, it was, it was so good. And that's seriously still my favorite episode because if I could tell every skateboarder to watch that, I feel more of them would care more about how a board is made versus just what the graphic is on it. Sure. Yep. Um, and then the, the whole conversation about the money, I hate to be that guy, but yeah, distributors and the, the people along the food chain, so to speak, are the sometimes the reason the price can go up. Materials do go up, but skateboards, they can be made for a little cheaper if you go direct to consumer, but you do have to support local skate shops too. So right, right, right. Yeah. I'm glad that we can do a bit of both and balance the price to get people a good product. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. And you're a good dude. Yeah, yeah. man. Adam Carlson. No, I appreciate dude. the love you guys. You guys, you I listen to you guys pretty much every day. You're in my pocket and it helps me while I make skateboards and it's just, so entertaining like for real amazing no fluff you guys fucking are crushing it and just keep doing what you do oh we appreciate that dude and keep doing what you do man it's amazing that uh you just make stuff and send it over and it's incredible yeah. man elders was super hyped on his little uh you heard me i was that that's probably the best gift i've ever gotten fuck in my life i don't know you know that's like sick. from someone that i don't even know and touched my heart pretty crazy i swear to god i told my wife i'm like the rose that you put on there, I, I want to get it tattooed because I oh, wanted to get a tattoo for my daughter at some point, and that one's so sick. So I'm fucking, Boom. I might do it. There you go. See that? So cool. Yeah, that that really means a lot, man. For real, I, I, I instead of just throwing you guys a hundred dollars in the chat every week, which would be nice if I could afford it, <laughs> I feel like making you guys some gifts. No, it's amazing. I feel like dude. making you guys some gifts to show my appreciation is the next best thing. And I try and be creative with it. Yeah. And, uh, just a quick, uh, settle on that. The date I did, you're right. I went off the Instagram, but now to your point, it was the first time you introduced your daughter to the world. So it's, it's perfect. it still has good meaning, but I didn't realize her birthday was a few days prior. Dude, my it, it worked out. Like it was like for a split second, I was like, Oh fuck. And then it was like, Wait, this is amazing. Like, it was her Instagram birthday. It was, yeah, it was her Instagram, yeah. Instagram, Instagram birthday. birthday. <laughs> First photo of her. Yeah. And this generation's not going to start celebrating that. <sighs> and you know what? If you really do want to get that tattooed, I'm sure he still has the artwork. He could probably send that over, you know? That, that is oh, true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to hit you up for that. Bro, let I me tell you real quick, man. Just hit this, me up on the DM. I will. Mm -hmm. The fact that you <clears throat> pay attention and listen so intently is one thing, but then to go out of your way and to create these like masterpieces... I can't tell you how incredible that is, bro. That's amazing. Like, that's so, just because I remember seeing you, Eldy, when you first got that gift. And like, yeah, it was cool as a divot tool. Like, you know, you use it, but like the everything that went into it and just the whole, like, I fucking it. damn near cried. Yeah, like, it that, was that's amazing, amazing bro. Man. So I just want to say for my boys, thank you for doing what you do, man. <laughs> yeah. This is rad. Yeah. yeah, it's like Ragdoll. Remember when Ragdoll would make gifts? 
And mm-hmm. he was like so particular, listen to the show and just the little things. It's, you it's know? the little yeah. things yeah. For, for sure. No, I, I do appreciate that. And the ragdoll sentiment, is, it hangs true with me too, because I've been going through some rough times and, you know, to have him go on the show and open up to the world about the issues he had and the problems he was going through is it takes a, a big person to do that. And, you know, I just, when I first heard that episode, I almost cried listening to it just because of the emotion that he was conveying in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, it's, it's awesome. And then back to Steve's point straight up, dude, I really do appreciate that. I, I'm, I'm struggling sometimes to figure out what gifts to make for the other three of you guys, but I got Chris's <laughs> dialed. So Steve and Kelly better know that you're coming up next. Also. <laughs> hey, that's you lovely, are dog. Awesome, don't, man. don't even sweat it, man. Yeah. Just the fact that you even care enough about like, what we do here to think that that's you know something you should do is enough for me man you're a good dude hell yeah no i appreciate it boys there you go man adam carlson plus skateboards go check him out plus skateboards.com he'll he'll customize a board for you it's amazing to your specifications yeah cool thanks <laughs> yeah. for taking my call you guys thank you. Uh, all right thanks adam take care brother and uh, thank you for all the kind words man we appreciate that no stress no stress at all boys i'll talk to you soon have a good night all right you too, later you, dude brother. later peace there you go, man. Adam Carlson wow. plus skateboards. The man. The man. The man. He sounds like a really level-headed, like totally. good dude. Mm-hmm. I can That's, handle a bear. Bro yeah. just had a bear in his fucking kitchen. I know. I know. Still <laughs> calm and cool. Collect. I would have still been freaking out. A bear, dude. Dude, I have a fucking bear in my house. Yeah, seriously. I can't even imagine that. Oh, God. I can't even imagine doing all the tricks Tiago does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Once again, I feel like he was on our list, and I watched him first. Course. Dumb, dude. I, I mean, well, I mean, I watched it right Monday. away. It would be, yeah. dude. I, Dumb. I wish I would have just kept it to the end because it just makes everything else. Eh. Yeah, I get it. It's so funny when he first got on New Balance. It was such a shock. Yeah. I mean, we just know him through DC. He was wearing all the old shoes and all yeah. that stuff, and then all of a sudden, like, boom, New Balance. Yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. Dude. It was kind of crazy because he was leading the wave of the so, retro DC for the, real. Yeah. Yeah, they were bombed from it. He's got good stuff. But, dude, this part was insane, dude. We pulled a couple clips from it here. Yeah, this has thing. to be all COVID part. Like, every trick was filmed during quarantine, I want to say. I, would, I want to say. You think? Yeah. Or was it doing the mask in the back from there? Yeah. This trips me out. What? <laughs> and then they take the bar off. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't understand that. You just ruined your property completely. Yeah, what was that? No idea what was happening. That was some. What are you? Maybe they didn't want him to skate it. Or maybe they were working. They on were it. probably. Well, yeah, probably working on. It. He was just like, yeah, well, you can like while Let we're doing this, like yeah. get it real quick. Yeah. They don't look like they're working on things. They just look like dudes. Well, dudes work. <laughs> no, but you, you go to work like that, like when you do in construction. Looks like a different it's what country, dudes do. right? What is it? It's yeah. Brazil. Yeah, Brazil, Brazil yeah. for sure. I mean, Denali back heel over that thing. Wow. He's like, before you make this spot easier, yeah. let me kick it with it harder. <laughs> that dude's like, I want to skate with it lower. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, marble, geez. though. Marble run up. I know, spot right? looks amazing. See that photo. Boom. Ooh. And it's the broken board, right? He, uh, Is it? No. Nah, he broke his board. He, he broke, broke a board. board, and then, yeah, that doesn't. That That's one not the one. Solid. That landing looks pretty harsh. It's like a great where you land. So he did it twice. Damn. But see, he puts it back together, yeah, goes back. Uh, yeah, he did like and the, even the way he lands, you could tell he knows that it's yeah, yeah, he's leaning on the back. It does a look lot. a little cracked. Wow. Yeah. He's leaning more back on our uh, uh, yeah, yeah. on the side that's what not broken. The actual That is oh, yeah. the same board. Yeah. Look, you can see it right there. Oh, it's wow. broken. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No problem. Switch the board around. Big dog makes me want to fucking get baggy pants again and big shoes. <laughs> Damn it, looks so good. The land tr- tricks. Well, it's cool. Those aren't even like that big of shoes, though. Like, Unless I mean, they're a size fourteen. Yeah, those are huge. <laughs> but they're not like they're not the big puffy ones. They're like no, right yeah. in inter- in the middle. Yeah, they're in know? the middle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely got some girth, but it's tech, wow. and I think it's because of like the different layers and the different like technology in the heel cups and all those things. But it's not like a, it's not like a big. Links, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. No. Oh, he sat on that front crook. That nice. A buttery one, dude. He's so sick. Ooh. That boy good. That boy good. The yellow shirt, too. 
Light ass denim. That's like a that's old school as fuck. Totally. That's like cover slap. Well, I it looks like it's like this colorway. Remember the guy, the first guy shoe on action. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. the same colorway yeah. of that. It looks pretty sick. That spot, like you're just like in the forest, <laughs> just like ill square rail. That I know, right? This looks good. Damn. Get the hole on that. I thing. love a good front crook, bro. Yeah. Whew. Dude, this Shit. is like a random. I think it's built for skating. It's just in the middle of of Rio. Hmm. It's this yeah. buttery spot. You skate there all day. Oh, seriously? Yeah. It's like it's so much fun. It's like Belmont hmm. benches well at the back. Yeah. When he grinds, though, you can heat like it's that feeling. You're like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's yeah, powerful. Wow. He's like Such one of the fun. one of the skaters that we watched that were like, we don't really say anything because we're all just like looking yeah, at yeah. how dope it is. It's, <laughs> he's dope. But mm-hmm. I don't I don't really see that trick too often. Fakey heel, Fakey five heel back five, yeah, one eighty. Yeah, that's awkward. Very as awkward. Mm-hmm. Still got that switch push, that switch mongo. Product of the nineties. Yup. That's a beautiful thing. Kind of landed that little Vincent Alvarez steez. Oh, huh, which one? The end one? Yeah. Look at his watch his arms. Kind of reminds me of Vince. Oh uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Right there, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Kind of just arms down. Yeah. Uh, switch pop. Phew. Dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> In the middle of a line. The tallest. Oh, my edges, gosh. Bro. Like, what are you doing? Hey, where are you going? Nolly tail. <laughs> Most 90s trick. <laughs> dude, Gosh. that line is insane. It must be fun to film this dude. God. You're just like, holy shit. You just did the craziest thing. Right? <laughs> I like that switch front heel. No, yeah. no push. Which, listen, that, that thing is fucking tall. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not that tall, actually. It's pretty, I mean... No, to do a switch front heel over it, but it looked taller as it flew as it flew by. It's almost your knee. Yeah. Damn. Huh. Huh. I mean, he does, every, he does every trick proper, too. And when he skates the tall ledge, it's not like he taps it. He like straight up sits on the ledge sits and grinds it. or slides the mm. shit out of it. What the? Dude, that's insane. Insane. What? What is that rail? Like the randomest little rail of all it's time. Like a skate park. Yeah, rail. yeah no, right? Something like that. Switch front shove to five. Switch five zero. The hard way, dude. It's like a JB Gillett would always do that. On some ledges mm, and stuff. Um, just front of five. You do a front regular, five up. regular. Yeah. regular. Yeah. So good. There's a lot that can go wrong on that. <laughs> totally. God, just the just physics me. alone doesn't really make sense. Like, there's a, like yeah. going this, I don't know, yeah. Well, he has, the way he does it, it goes straight up. Right. You know, like, we talk about my front shoves go over right. there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, his literally go up and he can maneuver it the other way. Mm-hmm. Right. Just nuts. Goes right to his front foot, right? Uh huh. Woo! Crazy. Got on proper too. Damn. Oh, this is uh... insane. (laughs) Wow. So good. Crook nolly flip. Stoops. Just chilling. Look how jacked that rail looks too. It's all bent and shit. It couldn't work. The this attempts, dude. the falls. Oh, I know. Yeah. Fuck. Smoked. Smoked. That's what I was tripping. I was talking to somebody the other day, but like how, because this dude's like pretty ripped. Mm-hmm. Like the falls he takes, he has to be that strong to like, yeah, for sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you when you watch him fall on this, he's, all of us would get dusted. Yeah. Right. But he's strong you enough to be like solid hold, enough. Yeah. To, yep. He wants jump rope. Maybe. Probably jump ropes. Tiago Lemos. Let me tell you something, man. Congratulations. Congratulations on the shoe part. Yeah, everything. 
Yeah, I was good. Yeah. There's a I can't remember who posted it. I think it was a skate shop. Um, it might have been Humidity. They posted a photo of they cut out the ledge, like like so it made it look like a curb. <laughs> And it, oh yeah, and it, it's so funny to see them all stand up, all like small, <laughs> like this little curve. It's pretty great. That's amazing. But congrats to Tiago. Seriously, man. dude, yeah. he's worked for and earned, and just deserves everything he has. Yeah, man. and he's so appreciative, and he, mm. he, yeah, he's in a good spot. Yeah. One thing I want to mention before we get to this raffle that we're going to choose at Mark Appleyard Globe Raffle is, uh, dude, the Ghetto Bird Podcast, bro. Cream Campbell, mm-hmm. go check it out. It's incredible. Tony Hawk, the first guest, Tony Hawk on. So good. <laughs> Amazing. The only thing I wish, Raj, wish it was longer. What was it, like half an hour something or like something? Something like that, yeah. yeah. But I mean, like if Kareem. You get, if you can get Tony for 20 minutes, you're psyched. Yeah, right? A hundred percent. But I feel like Kareem and Tony have so much to talk about. And I love. I, I could sit there for hours listening to those two talk about yeah. skating and the times and the games and all that stuff. But it was cool. Don't get me wrong. Have you seen? I haven't watched it yet, but I, I saw like some promo for it. The documentary on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's on like Hulu and Amazon Prime about the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game. Have you watched it, Rock? I haven't mm-hmm. watched it yet. There's a documentary on it? Mm-hmm. Wow. No. I need to peep that. Yeah. Mm. Something like Superman, whatever it's called. Yeah, something. I can't remember what it's called, but I, been, I saw some promos this past mm. week, so I need, to, I need to peep that. Damn. Uh, forgive me. Uh, the, Rob the, Cahill. What's his name? Rob Cahill. Rob Cahill. He does a great job. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. He does a great job. So go check it out. Go subscribe to their channel, the Ghetto Bird Podcast. It's a, it's so good. Can't wait to see who's on next. All right. You know? It's going to be a tough one to top. Yeah, you start off with Tony Hawk. It's a little... Uh, <laughs> it's all downhill yeah. after that. Well, you right. got Kareem on there, so that's like the consistent totally. winner yeah. all. You know what I mean? Legend. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that dude Rob Cahill, he he does a great job. He does a great job. I enjoy I enjoy yeah. the, listening to those And guys. both of them together like complement each other, you yep. know? Yeah. It's like really good. Really done really well. I like it. The Ghetto Bird Podcast. Go subscribe to their channel, man. Go check it out. Tony Hawk getting that coverage lately, bro. He's on a little press junket, man. Should we do a stop and chat? When this video game comes out. I'm fucking here, but Yeah, Kel, video game drops yeah. September. Hit him, Kel. All right. Come on, two dudes, one game. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. That would right? be. That'd be psycho. Amazing. I'm serious. Get every character, or every character, every pro. I mean, they are characters in the yeah, game. Technically, yeah. But get all the pros that are in that to do play the game with you guys. Mm-hmm. You, realize, you guys play like 720 or some like old school game. 720. Oh, wow. We need to what, get the whole arcade in here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking big old machine. Thrasher, Skate, and Destroy on the original oh. PlayStation. Yeah. Did you guys oh, see that uh, the high score documentary on Netflix? <laughs> You watch that? I've, I've seen bits and pieces. Once you told me about it, I tried to. I fell asleep the night and I wanted to watch it, but I got to go back and watch that, that too. That, did you guys see it at all? I haven't watched it. Yet. I haven't oh, watched it. It, it. it showed up on my thing, but I didn't watch it. I think you guys will all be stoked because it takes you through how all the video games were made back then mm. to like the ones we all grew up playing. Oh, for sure. And you know that stuff you don't know, yeah. but that brings you back to the exact time when you were a kid. You're right. right. Just yeah. the way that they were seeing it, how they these people were pulling, like pushing it towards us, totally. we're just like little kids, just For like sure. yeah. Well, it's even just little stuff like when we were talking about duck hunt, you know. Then somebody sent me an article of like, well, this is actually how it works. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right. we were just all these little black things. And a little dot. Yeah, yeah. just mm-hmm. a light sensor. Like mm-hmm. wow. Little and then stuff. St- Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I always different. wondered Street Fighter two. I was like, where's Street Fighter one? Was that ever a thing? Like I could never find it. They call it Street Fighter. It was just called <laughs> just Street. Fight. I mean, it was yeah. just called Street Fighter. Yeah, I think I call it one. Well, I mean, I meant. To, I know. I'm, yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, it's it was just Ryu and Ken on Street Fighter, the original one. Oh yeah. And that oh, was shit. it. And then then they built from there. Oh, they showed wow. it. It was I just was blown Damn. away. Damn. Okay, I gotta watch this. Yeah, because Street Fighter was. <laughs> Was the best. It still so is. Good. Yeah. Blanca, Blanca. Chun Li. I had a, I had a T shirt back in the day. This was back when like Karma Loop was big and like the graphic tees and all that shit were popping. I think I still have it somewhere, but it says I got more kicks than Chun Li. And <laughs> she was doing a bunch of fucking like kicks on the shirt. Amazing. So hard. <laughs> real real quick. Uh, I remember at being at LRG back in the day in the warehouse, and they had a Street Fighter Two uh, arcade, arcade game, and one of the owners, Robert, this big dude. And he was kind of scary to play. I didn't, like I just know oh, he kicked everyone's ass, but I played pretty good too. And he walked up, and I was like, "Oh, you want to play?" I was like, "Yeah." And he he chooses Zangief 
to play. Oh, I was like, shit. you choose Zangief? <laughs> and he just destroys everyone with Zangief. And I was like, I've never heard of anyone playing Zangief. I don't even remember that character. <laughs> this huge buff dude from, uh, from Is Russia. Is it a girl? No, I don't know. No, no. No, it was the, the character. Dude. Yeah, he, he was the one that had like the fucking... Didn't he have... No, oh, it was the, Guile. Yeah. Who was Zangief then? I'm thinking a Big... Was a dude... He had like a mohawk. He was a big fucking rip like... Did he but have a shirt off? Like an electric? No, that was Blanca. Blanca? Dude. He, was, he didn't have a shirt on, right? He was just yeah, like this yoked. He was insanely like... huge dude. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, he had the mohawk. He was just ripped. <laughs> yeah. Throw, throw it a little. Zangief. Dude. <laughs> he's he's in the uh, fucking Wreck-It Ralph in the fucking. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Bro, like, that game, that brings me. Tiger uppercut. Oh yeah. Just, yeah. Oh my god. That's good, Tim. Okay, listen, we got the uh I want to remind people for this episode, the raffle going on right now. It's incredible, dude. It's a Tory movement package. We so got good. three sets of wheels. People will win three. We're gonna pick three winners next episode. So three winners will win three sets of wheels, some two pairs of socks, a Satori Movement wallet, Satori Movement three shirts, three of them. And a sticker pack. And there's more. A DGK Chaz Ortiz board that was sent from Uprise Skate Shop. For the customer. The uh, customer Nino sent these to us. Uh, Tony Sayay. Sayya. And. I forgot there was all this shit. So a lot. Uh, Tom Penny. Tom Penny oh, yeah, artwork. Uh, these, uh, these prints that he did. Tom Penny didn't do them. Tom Penny didn't do these? Oh no, Jason Arnold. Jason Arnold did this uh, so good. painting for us. Uh, oil painting. And I'll show you guys the original. Damn, yeah, we, we should hang up somewhere, Raj. Look at that. So good. Wow. Should hang it up when we have Tom here. Oh, that'd be amazing. Look at that. Boom. So that's the raffle that we're picking next episode. All this stuff. Boom. You guys okay over there? So there's like a notification that someone got stabbed across Stabbing the Stabbing 500 feet away. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds normal. Fuck, man. Jesus. Good thing I'm not walking home. How come we haven't had cops or anything yet? Kelly is. I heard some uh, sirens a little bit ago. Oh, yeah. we I did a little yeah. bit ago, yeah. Thank you again to uh, Nino and Jason Arnold and Satori Movement. Go check them out. SatoriMovement.com. Wheel Company's back. Super excited about that. And this raffle right now, I've never had to grab so much stuff down here, Raj. First of all, I dabble. I dabble. We're going to pick three winners right now for the I dabble uh, issue four, five, and six. Three winners will receive that. And the globe package, which is socks. Big. Mahalo plus shoes. We got a black. Two pairs. Two pairs. And a uh, taupe. Look at that. I like that taupe. That's dope taupe, dude. I like that taupe. dope taupe. Dope taupe. We got hats. We got sweaters. We got shirts. Jeez. We got Throwing pants. Uh, what do you want me I'm to do joking, with all this? I'm joking. I'm joking. We got <laughs> flannels. Good. Thank you so much, Globe Brand. US.globebrand.com. It's a good package. So we're going to pick three winners right now. For that, let's get it. Pick them, Chris. You want me to pick them? No, I'll yeah. just pick all three. Right? Pick them. They're fluffed pretty good. Are they? Yeah. Oh, I fluffed it good earlier. Kelly's good at. Uh, Raj is good at fluffing too. FYI. All right, here's one. Okay. That'd be cool, like on a on a job application. I fluff good. I fluff good. I'm oh, good for fluff. man ramp does I'm a table and I fluff good. <laughs> yeah, I'm a oh, good I fluffed table. it good earlier. Here's another one. <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you put on your your resume? Like, if you were a fluffer at one point in your life, like, <laughs> you put no comment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and last but not least, here's the last one. But kind of cool because they'd ask the question, and then you get the conversation, and then the da -da 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 -da, like yeah. All right, here we go. This is incredible. 
Wait, this one rocks. That's incredible. I saw that, yeah. I saw that. All right, here we go. The winners for the Globe Shoes and Clothing Package. Chad will kill you. That sucks. Mm, that's he a weird commented thing. 420. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of aggro, but then mellow guy. I don't know. It's weird. Kind of alter ego. Maybe. That's like a full surfer right there. Like, Chad will kill just you. Just fucking let's do it. And then they'll kill you if they you're on their wave. 420, bro. So that's it. Chad will kill. Next up, we got Dalton Barfield. Dalton Barfield. He didn't write anything. Last but not least, we have our friend. We see him in the chat all the time. We've met him at LD's uh, 33 launch with the uh, community mate. Official military skate. Wow. Amazing. All right. Zachary Sales. Jack, Zachary Sales. He won recently, too, yeah. right? Yeah. He's like won a few times. Four weeks back. Four weeks back. back. Yeah. He put... Uh, Anyone else think snake and and tomato yard could be cousins? Huh? Did you read that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he used emojis to write it. So he put, look, anyone else think that's a snake, right? Is that not a snake? And that's a tomato. Yard could be cousins. That's probably an apple, apple yard. yard. Oh, apple yard. Snake? But what's the snake, snake? though? What's the snake? Anyone else thinks snake and apple yard could be cousins? Hmm. Oh, Wizard? like somebody this obviously... Is this a riddle? Is this a riddle? It's a riddle. Like we had to figure this out. So who's Who's got the nickname snake and the emo- It's the snake emoji, like yep. the coiled, coiled up. Uh-huh. Yep. Is it a reptile? Like oh, a lizard king? No. Lizard king? No. Nope. It could this be cobra, a... meaning Chris cobra. Cole. That's probably it. Oh. Chris Cole and yeah. apple yard. I can see that. Could be cousins. Anyone else think... Chris Cole and Apple Yards could be cousins. I doubt it. I don't know. I could see it. They have both they have good posture. The, re- the resemblance and the, yeah. Hmm. And they're both bigger than you would expect. They are big dudes. When you meet them, you know? Yeah. So there you go, man. Dustin, or I'm sorry, uh, Dalton Barfield. Chad will kill you for 20 men. <laughs> and official military skate. Dude, congratulations to these guys. They came up. Zach's got a good uh, approach to his donations. He puts a bunch of like ones. Yeah. yeah. The whole and thing. the, the yeah. cool thing too is he usually will raffle off this on his Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. So guys, Dalton, Chad, and uh, Zachary Sales, official military skate, email us contest at the nine club.com. Take a screenshot of your receipt from your donation from the raffle, send us your address. That's the your, donation from the your, raffle, but the receipt you get from the donation. Yeah. Because some people have actually tried to send me screenshots of the like replay of the raffle. Oh, yeah. And anyone can do that. Email us, contest at the 9 Send a screenshot of your receipt that you got when you donated on the raffle. Send us your shoe size. Send us your clothing size. You got a size large, your size medium. Send us your pants size. You a size 32, you a size 34. Send us all that in one email to contest at the nine club.com. And we will send all this stuff out. We will be sending the I dabble. We need the address too. Yeah, did I say that? Just let I don't know, know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I dabble. We will be sending these out and the globe package globe will be sending these out to you guys so congratulations to you guys and satori all this other stuff next next week's a next big week one. it's a big one mm-hmm. wow it's a big one damn these are crazy nice packages. Big ones. <laughs> both, dude both yeah. raffles are insane yeah yeah a lot of product so there you go thank you so much globe shoes check them out us.globebrand.com thank you so much apple yard for coming by and in the last episode he reviewed his whole video part it was in it was amazing eldridge super funny super funny dude holy shit love apple yard. i want to see you two hang out with each other that would be funny dude too. you know what's funny is he hung out with this dude from santa Cruz, chaden you know oh, chaden yeah. brewer uh-huh. yeah. he used to be oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you see, right, I right. see trading like at least once a week at the curbs. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. I'd like, I never see, I knew that they hung out 
pretty hard and I never seen the two together but watching him talk <laughs> they talk the same oh, do they? <laughs> they're like the same dude like it's insane yeah. all right well it's about that time boys Anything else to add to the episode, Elder? You weren't here last week, man. I wasn't. So I don't know if you have uh, to double up on some stuff. <laughs> I love the people that fuck with us. Like they are, they do it in a way that's like very heartfelt and heartwarming and all that shit. So I wanted to give a couple of shout outs. Go ahead. Um, Abel, his, his Instagram name is Abel-35. Uh, he follows Elder Eats. He sent me a package of beer. Oh. Like he's like, I see you do craft beer. He's like, dude, I I mess with craft beer so heavy. Like, can I send you some of my favorites that I've been aging? Sent me a box of beer, coolest shit ever. Nice. Wow. Uh, this other dude, which was amazing, his name on Instagram is Habanero Dash J R three seven six five whatever. His name's Justin. <laughs> he's he's a a spice scientist. So he he sent me thirty three spices. Oh jeez! Uh, wow. Of like different types of fucking spices, so I could cook with. So I'm like, dude, that's amazing. And then uh, it's the best hookup I've ever gotten in my life. So I found out before I went on the trip that I didn't have to get surgery. Oh, congrats! So I, yeah, amazing. That was yeah. that was another thing. Like, that's oh, awesome, LD dude. has the worst luck. I'm like, actually, before I went on the trip, I got the best news ever. So I tore my MCL and like the MCL, right? There's like tears here. There's tears here you mm -hmm. could get. I tore it like this. Oh, like wow. it's like torn, okay. right? The surgeon I went to, he was like, bro, I was, I tore my shit and it was like that. He's like, I didn't get surgery. He's like, it's okay. I'm going to get the PRP shot mm. on uh, Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I'll be in a, like just a straight cast for a week. But he knows you're like an athlete. Right? Yeah, he yeah. Like so this is what happened. So I go in there and my insurance hasn't changed yet. So mm -hmm. I'm, I have to pay like out of pocket pretty much. And it's like a $200 uh, consulting fee. And I go in there and cool office in Manhattan Beach, uh, Beach City or Orthopedic. I go in there, they're playing music. It's cool. I see this dude. He's got like tattoos, the kind of younger dude in scrubs. Go do my thing, sit down. And he's like, it, immediately before I can even feel anything, he's like, Justin, come come this way i go huge fan of skating oh, huge sick. fan of mine huge fan of the show um we start rapping out whatever uh, long story short i don't have to get surgery oh. doctor was amazing um and fucking comped comped oh, my visit wow. i was like sick. that is in skateboarding That's the great. gnarliest thing i've ever like gotten comped for you know what i mean it's expensive right yeah Man. I just, an, just a, the office visit alone yeah. right and i was like thinking the, but imagine showing up and be like you're gonna pay 200 dollars to find out that you don't need something exactly yeah. Uh, yes. like i fa i didn't have to pay i'm not gonna get surgery like my whole world just like opened up for a second i was just right. like uh and the dude uh david Tu, david tu mm. he lives in redondo beach um has a boat and I, he's like yo if you want to kick it on my boat i'm like yeah i do want to <laughs> kick it on your boat <laughs> <laughs> let's kick it you know it was amazing wow congrats yeah. that you don't need surgery dude, I'm that's so great so fucking yeah. it's amazing so what are you gonna do just do the, the shots and then just kind of rehab and stuff like uh, that you're gonna see me i'm like, on some kelly gun which i've done before but like i get the shot on thursday mm -hmm. and then i'm going fucking ham okay i'm good. gonna go health yeah. all day every yeah, day yeah. And perfect that yeah. prp shot is gonna put you on your ass for about a week that, a week right? yeah, yeah, yeah yeah oh really mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went down. So when I got the stem cell injections in my back the first time, Mike Mo got PRP. And it's actually really sick. You watch them like spin the shit and it fucking separates and you get all Crazy. the shit. Like, PRP is gnarly. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so similar to my thing, Mike Mo had, I don't know if it was an MCL tear, but he had a tear in his knee or something. But mm -hmm. he, uh, the doctor was like, yeah, you're going to feel like you just had surgery for about a week. Really? Like, yeah, Damn. It's, it's tough. But, uh, but it's not like, Surgery and then like months, of, right, right, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. He said hurts? I'd be. I mean, I'm assuming I didn't get. I got stem cells, but Mike Mo. Yeah, he said it was. It was pretty intense. Damn. I mean, even yeah. when I got the cortisone shots for my knees before, mm -hmm. you go in there and you're fine. You walk out of there, you're not fine. Right, yeah. Right, 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 right. How long does it take if you get a cortisone shot or like a? Um, I was looking into get, days getting in my ankle uh, steroid shot. I guess they, whatever. I don't yeah, know. Mm -hmm. a couple of days. Like hmm. a couple of days of what? Just sitting there or like? What? Or just you're not gonna feel. Good. normal oh yeah. yeah okay hmm 
It's not bad. All right. Oh. Congrats, LD. Yeah, that's right. it's good. Dude. I mean, it's not congrats you hurt yourself, but you know, you have to. You don't have to go through all that. I do, that dude. That's blessing. Great. Dude, yeah. How sick is it too that like medicine has advanced so much that like yeah, you can we can take your bl- your own blood that's already pumping through your veins, pull it out, put it in a machine, spin it a bunch, right? It'll separate. We're gonna put it right back in your it's body. Right. It's gonna repair everything that you already. Bro, had. I was on the fucking the table and I was like I was questioning the doctor. Like I was like, are you sure about this? (laughs) My knee is jacked. Are you sure? I t- asked him like five times. Right. Like, are you talking so I don't have to get surgery? Yeah. Do I need a surgery? Wait, so is it saying? Yeah, I literally. Yeah. Well, I, that's why I asked if he knew that you were like an athlete. Because oh, yeah. he, he, you could have come in and just, oh, it'll be, you know, whatever. And, like and some dude who doesn't do shit. Exactly. And I, I, I like thought about it. Like, should I get, is there a second opinion to whatever? But he, uh, he was like, when he tore his, he was surfing mm. and he was like getting barreled and the white water came over. He did what I did oh. on the surfboard. Like he's whole, he did the splits and his knee went down and just separated. Um, and he said he didn't have to get surgery. And I'm, I'm like thinking like, this dude doesn't want to make money off of me. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I thought it was amazing. So huh. crazy. It's great, dude. Yeah. yeah. And Stoked. you'll be chilling on a boat soon. Uh, <laughs> Leg propped up. Big chilling. Big, big <laughs> no, right. chilling. Uh, what's up, Rod? Anything else to add to the episode, Raj? You good? <laughs> Kelly, how about you? <laughs> Always, but nothing. Just, you good? No, uh, I want to shout out Daniel at Erewhon uh, Market over here. Every time I go, he just hooks up a discount for, like, I you just... The whole cashier? Wa- cashier. Yeah, he's, a, he's pretty rad. He I, listens to our show, and he just, like, he wanted to be working at the cashier that I'm at. He'll come over and be like... Puts it in the computer oh, or whatever, sick. and it gives me like twenty five percent off. Yeah. That's awesome! Like, dude, Perfect. like nice. thank you, bro. You're like, thank you. There's uh, another dude, that, uh, Joe, that works there too. He's awesome. He actually uh, um, he clear coats the coping. On oh, the, that's right. That's right. Time. I was He's talking saying, to him mm. about you guys skating the curb. Yeah, yeah. so you guys made the dreamless sponsor like yeah, you guys yeah. market yeah. sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Air One sponsor. That might even been something we said. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Damn, then, Tesla, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anything, GoPro. Where the fuck you at? I, I listened to this uh, podcast. It's called uh, Tuesdays with Stories. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. It's like Mark Norman, this guy Joe List. And it's like these two comedians that are really funny. They say some like crazy stuff, but it's re- it's pretty damn funny. And I found out he kind of talks about. It. He's like, oh, he's from uh, New Orleans. Um, Mark Norman is, and I've been listening to a lot of his stuff. It's like, yeah, I grew up skateboarding in uh, New Orleans. Like what? And he and he like he did it like we're like the same age, and he did it for a really long time. So I don't know. If, if you hear this somehow, please post your footage of somehow. I want to see, because he's like the funniest dude. To see footage of him skating would be pretty amazing. In- nice. You know, someone that you listen to that you're like, oh, this guy's rad, but you never knew they skated. Right. It would be interesting to see. So, Ooh. yeah. But what about you, Steve? Is this anything to add to the episode? I mean, these dudes kind of crushed it. I don't really have much. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, just shout out to all of our supporters. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of put a, you know, put a button on it. Chris, yeah, great community. No, I'm good, dude. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, same old shit, bro. I just, I'm waiting. I want summer to be over. It's hot, and it just started. God, it shit. really did. Yeah, dude, the, the seasons have shifted. <sighs> this is gonna go through like November. This it fire is. season just started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be God, hot. I hope not. Dude. Yeah, I hope dude. not. And it's so funny because like there's pe- Arizona and like all these uh, Texas. I mean, it's like 110 degrees out there. Bro, I saw, and it's map. 80 degrees here. Yeah, I and saw, I'm like on the west side. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. I saw a map on Twitter today. Literally half the country is on fire, and the other half has hurricanes that are coming to it. Right, like Marco dude, Laura? bro, it's in. How about the uh, fire? What tornado? Fire tornado. Oh, that's yeah. Right. what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fire oh, tornado. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, okay, mm, the world is ending. Bro, 2020 on some fuck shit. And there's an asteroid coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, size of a truck. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah. It's just coming? Yeah. It's, it's supposed to like, be here by uh, election day. But election it's gonna, day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. oh, what is it going right. to do, though? I don't know. It's going mean, to miss us or something? No, no it'll just burn it'll, up in the atmosphere. Yeah, if it's the size of a truck, yeah. if you think about it, it's not going to make it. But it's just funny. I saw that headline, too. Yeah. Like. Okay. On election day? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's all amazing. What? I, I saw that. And I'm like, but it like kind of went by. I'm mm. like, wait, that's not something that doesn't just go by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? So 
<laughs> Dude, I swear calendars, you're going to like look back and it's like the 13th floor of like how they don't have it. Like 2020, <laughs> 2020 is like 2019, 2021. Like what happened? <laughs> There's no 2020 anymore. <laughs>